and stuff. Do a little fish. Yep, just wait for it to wait for it to reach. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah. I hear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, peanut butter. I hear us. Yeah. I. Yes. One descent to altitude 4,000 feet when established, descend with the glide.
What's up, everybody? Pilot83 here, the Bugger Squadron, and a bunch of the great community here in the Discord chat. If y'all want to come chat with us, we are in live open chat. This is something we've been wanting to do for a while. We started doing it a couple weeks ago. We're doing it every time now. Come, Feel free to come hang out with us and chat. I love to have y'all guys in the chat talking. It makes this so much more fun, you know. I want this to be more about the community and not about me or our actual team. Only uh, rule we have is just don't be hateful, don't say anything derogatory. I mean, I understand that, you know, people are going to cuss. I get that. I'm guilty of it. Just don't be hateful. But uh, other than that, it's going to be a great day. It's going to be a great group flight. We got Ninja here. He's our he's our head of our Discord. He is the guy in the background that's making the magic happen. We have Easy here, who is my partner. He's the guy that keeps me in line. He's the guy that throws eggs in my house when I mess up. Love that guy. And then we have a bunch of great guys in the community. If anybody here wants to introduce themselves or talk, feel free. This is your moment right now. That's Kit Fox there. Kit Fox is a uh, really great guy. Kit Fox is uh, he's like he's, he's a lot like most of us. He's a aviation enthusiast. Um, he's like me. He doesn't have much of an aviation actual background, but he knows more than most people, you know. And uh, I respect that, you know, because. In school, things did not interest me. I wish I had paid more attention to school and uh, had this love that, that I, I do now, but it is what it is. But uh, we, we just love the sim, we love the community, and we're now, we have a good time. Check, check. Uh, and uh, right now we're doing a, uh, a voice test with the sounds. Let me know if y'all can hear everything clearly. Um, I don't think anybody can hear us, actually. No, no, that's why I was doing that test. I don't know. My batteries. There we go, guys. I now got everybody back on. Okay, I figured it out. Okay, it's that setting. I got, I got to switch it in Adobe. But now everybody is live. Everybody should be yep. able to be heard. Yep, I see your voice, Ninja. You're popping up. Who? Yep, you're popping up too. I got you isolated, Kip Fox. Boom. Easy, say something. Yep, I hear myself. Now. Easy, I see you. You're just a little bit low, Easy. Just coming a little bit closer. How about now? Perfect. Check, check, check. Perfect. Perfect. Need, Hold on. We, we need to get your... easier to show. We need Sign. to get easier to show. He's all right. I'm signing your profile just so I know your What's name. What's your name? My thing. Well, your Bowser. <laughs> but welcome, everybody. Uh, Ninja, could everybody hear me at least? In the, uh, yeah. Everybody, uh, they everybody could? could hear okay. you. Okay. Okay. Well, good. But uh, it's, yeah. it's a great little group flight. We're going to fly the Amazon River today. Uh, we've... We've never done a flight over the Amazon. It's something I've wanted to do for a while. And uh, I know a lot of y'all have asked me, what are we going to do for Veterans Day? So easy here. You know, he's my partner. He is uh, going to do a flight tomorrow for the Texas Raider event. So easy if you want to discuss that right now with everybody and let them know the time and everything. And, uh, I'll be there myself, but easy will be leading that. I will make it a live stream as well. Easy, the floor is yours. Uh, so. A lot of you probably heard by, uh, by now that uh, last year, November 12th, um, Texas Raiders was in a mid-air collision. Uh, so tomorrow, November 12th, at 6 p.m. Central, we'll be taking off from, uh, from Dallas Redbird um, and doing a uh, nice, respectful file for Texas Raiders in the uh, P-63 uh, Correct. Uh, camera, um, a nice flyover giving our salute to the uh, veterans as well. And that's the same time as of right now. So for those who are not in America, the time right now, the flight will be the same time tomorrow. We're going to do a flyover. If you don't have the plane, that's fine. I don't have the plane. Just show up in the Warbird. That's completely fine. Or show up whatever you have. You know, what matters most to us is that you show up. If you just show up, show that's support. fine. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys saw my t-shirt that we just released. So the t-shirt is like a 60... It's like 60 cents profit. And some people might ask, well, why are you going to profit off the shirt? That's just to pay for the actual copyright. So the copyright of the shirt is like 250 bucks. So I'll have to sell like literally 400 t-shirts to even pay for the copyright. But the shirt's there for y'all. I wanted to get out there. A shirt for veterans because I love veterans. I want to do I want to do like a donation thing for veterans, which I'm working on now. I was looking at it last night, but there's a, like a lot to it. You have to have like a license and this and that, which I'm, which I'm gonna get I'm gonna get it all figured out. But uh, listen, I'm gonna do. But the shirt's there right now. If y'all want to, to wear that, I got a shirt. We'll give one away. Um, so tomorrow, if y'all show up tomorrow for the group flight with Easy, whoever has, the, we're gonna do a, a a contest 
the best photo that represents, you know, veterans and all that, the person that has the most votes will receive a free T-shirt of our new T-shirt that says, We Support Our Veterans. So there's that. TJ Turner, load up my dog. Aurora, I'm happy that you're here. Aurora, I'm doing great. I worked at a music festival today. Uh, it was a busy day. I'm not going to lie. Uh, it was balls to the wall. It's been a busy, hectic day. What's up, DJ? What's up, Aurora? Hey, Aurora. Hey, TJ. But uh, there's a lot of good guys here in the chat. So if anybody in here in the chat wants to you know, introduce yourself, feel free to. If anybody wants to join the chat, just come join. We're going to take off in four minutes. We're going to take off at the flight plane here. You know, we're just having a good time. It's gonna be a good hangout. It's gonna be very relaxing. I always say I love these these evening flights because to me they're they're different. I feel like the uh, the energy is different. Everybody's just much more relaxed. I feel like we could fly for four hours in the evening and people are just like, you know, who cares? We're just having fun. Versus when we fly in the afternoon, it's like okay, everybody has a schedule. I get it. And like, we have to do like an hour and a half. These flights are always really nice. So, but uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, there's Captain Kenobi. Hey, Captain hey, Kenobi. Captain Kenobi, I'm I'm feeling good, my man. So I'm sure a lot of y'all have a lot of questions for me. So I'm going to explain it right now to y'all. So as y'all know, I struggle from addiction severely for a long time. Um, a few days ago, I was really struggling. Kind of got on my mental space because uh, so so where I live. If y'all don't know, I live in a place where all the money is tourist season. So in the summertime, you can make six figures. Wintertime, you can make a hundred bucks to fifty bucks a week. Literally, that's how drastic it is. And uh, I was just really feeling down and stuff, and uh, struggling up with a lot of things. And uh, whenever I feel stressed, I feel the need to uh, to drink. And uh, I don't know, it's just, it's bad. But uh, I took the stress out on my team, and uh, it wasn't right by any means. I am. Uh, thing is, when you feel that way, you try to isolate yourself from everybody because you feel like everybody's an enemy. So I isolated myself. I uh, went against my team. I uh, said some stuff to Demos, to Dean from DC Designs. But, you know, we're all we're all very close, and uh, I've always tried to remain a neutral party with everybody. But. Uh, I lost my grip. So, all I'm gonna say is I feel great today. I took some time off. I've been doing some work out in the sun. I got a little summer on my, on my nose. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, yeah. But I, uh, but I feel I feel a lot better though. I feel good. I feel great. And uh, I, I'll say this to everybody here. I am not perfect by any means. I am a human being. But I promise you, no matter what happens in my life, I will always continue to fight and show up for all of you. Always. And I will always do whatever I can to put you on the map. Always. Because I am no king. I am I am just a person who's doing this. Who wants to make everybody... So easy here, Ninja knows. I never try to take the spotlight. Whatever, whatever someone offers me, I try to give it back to you. Always, I'm like, put the, give it to them. Always, I'm like, what, what, what can I do to take care of the community? Because I don't want it about me. But I feel good. I know, I know, I will Kenobi. And Kenobi, next year when I come over there to France, I hope to meet you, buddy. I hope to meet you. But anyway, so I'm not gonna get too savvy with y'all and too savvy. Easy's here with us. He came. He had a great flight show today. So did uh, Kit Fox, and uh, Aurora. I appreciate you. I appreciate y'all. I hope y'all know that every time y'all send me a sweet message on YouTube, I screenshot it and I keep it in this file. And whenever I feel really bad, I read all your messages. Okay, let's get going. Ooh, ninja, nice you've never led the way. I'm going to let you today lead the way. Whenever you're all ready, right. Ninja, so you're ready, we'll take off. We're going to fly the Amazon. Okay. We're going to fly low. 250 to 500 feet. 100 okay. knots. All right. Okay. Be a good time. Let's let, let's right. just have good conversations in this flight. Oh yes. Uh, all right, let's go. Now I want y'all to know that as soon as I get down to the group flight, I'm cooking a badass spaghetti. So if y'all live in Pensacola or nearby, come over. 
come over. Now he's making And come eat. Come eat. All right. All right. We're rolling. Oh, wow. I took off for like 10 feet. Yeah, I didn't have my flaps all the way down. Me neither. I had a uh, platform. TJ right Turner, I see you in the M7. Psycho Tank, welcome, buddy. I've never seen you before. We appreciate having you here. Whoa. Easy, do you have the flat plane in your system? I don't. I'm right behind the team. Okay, I'm following you. I have the flight plan in my system, guys. But uh, we're just going to we're gonna take it slow. It's going to be about an hour and a half, maybe an hour and 45 minutes. It's going to be a fun flight. It's going to be nothing crazy. Yeah, it's, it's nothing not uh, crazy. Nothing crazy. We're just, having a good time. Like I said, just enjoying the weather. All right. Just about hanging out with, with everybody. Check, check. Oh yeah. Easy. You sound yep, great. You sound great. Right. Oh yeah. Stephen Hartfield, buddy, you are correct. So, just me being outdoor for a day, being in the sun for about eight hours, the difference that the radiation and the vitamin D that you feel, it is huge. It is huge, you know, because I spend so much time in my apartment. So I live in an apartment, and uh, I'm always on my computer. So like, y'all can't really see right here, but I'm in an office. There's like this little small office I made for myself, and there's a screen here, screen here, screen there, and uh, you're like, well, you're on Xbox. I am, but I have to switch for my laptop. And uh, to me, life doesn't stop. It never stops, you know. But. Uh, so I'm, all, I'm always going. I'm always rolling. I'm always doing stuff. You know, and not just even for the Sims. Like even my job. You know, like uh, they need someone that's to do their. So they know the like how good I am at writing stuff to, and making like thumbnails and making stuff for like events. So they're now giving me money to make like. So like today we did this festival. So they're paying me money to make a lot of this stuff for them. And then, you know, they're offering me now, like, hey, you want to make us t-shirts? You make us t-shirts, we'll pay you to make us t-shirts because the designs that you make are way better than what we pay huge money for. And it's like, well, I want to do it, and I will do it, but it's like, you got to give me time. I can't just sit down. You know, I got I got so many good friends who, like, they always want to hang out and stuff. And it's like, I just don't have time. Because to me, it's like, it's like me, my team, and then my, you know, well, it's me and my daughter. It's like me, my daughter, and my team. My woman, she's good enough where she gracious me, where she just, she's always on the phone with me, no matter what I'm doing. But, uh, yeah. What's up, Big B Man H? What's up, Gergo? Anibis? What's up, Rambo? Welcome back. Uh, Johnny Utah, bro, we always love you. Uh, Alright, gonna turn right here, start following the river. I uh, see you. I'm out here a little bit off the track. ABQ, yeah. what's up, buddy? Steven, that's Steven. We're happy that you're always... Steven is always a nice guy. Salad Chief, we love you. Psycho Tank. Uh, there's a few new people here. Welcome, welcome yeah. everybody. If, if any of you guys are from uh, the uh, the Facebook group of Xbox, I know there's some issues going on there. I don't know what's happening. It doesn't really matter. But uh, if any of you guys left that group to come here for the group flight, just know that you're always welcome here. And, uh, and and we reached out our hand to them, our buddy Larbo. And, you know, he's working on his pilot. He reached out his hand, and then what we said, hey, if you need some help, we, we will we will lead your team, we will guide y'all, we will do whatever, whatever you need. You know, so if any of y'all are here because of that, I appreciate y'all being here. That's a small group, but it's nice not having uh, all over this year. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, yeah, today's a little bit small, it's 21, sometimes we're about 50 to 60. That's fine. These, these late group flesh are always like this. Yeah. Yeah. It all depends on schedule, too, when we can get them fit them in and all that. Tower experiment it was supposed to be yesterday, yes, tomorrow, but there's your routine to find schedule for here. I had to do it tonight, so we should have Well, I, I, I just didn't want to take away from Veterans Day for you. Because to me, it's like Veterans Day. It means a lot to me as well. It's like, uh, you know, that easy to have uh, some plans. Stuff. It's like, you know, like, to me, it's like, we, we got to do something special. Oh, yeah. It's nice we do a lot of stuff. I know last year we did the flight in, like, uh, like New York City. We went to uh, JFK, a few other places. 
Yes. I'm going to play some other heavy slices. <laughs> but uh, guys, Ninja is leading the way. And if y'all do not have me on your friends list, I'm on your friends list. Your name will be in the yellow. What's up, CM? Yeah. Or C. Miller? What's up, buddy? What's up, B? Welcome back. But uh, tomorrow, we're going to do a really great Warbird flyover for Easy and uh, the Texas Raiders for Veterans Day. So, it'll be good. Yeah. And if you don't like the product, if you don't have any Warbirds, we do have DC3 that came with the 40th anniversary. And if you don't have any war liveries for it, you can just fly a stock livery with it. So, it would count. And that would still be nice. Right. And if you don't like... If you don't fly, feel like flying the DC-3, well, feel something you like to fly. Feel, bring an aircraft that you feel comfortable in. I'm, pers I'm personally going to fly. Ready for it? Who's going to guess? The Wright, the Wright Brothers. No. <laughs> absolutely I not. The, I, I, to I this day, I have time. not touched that plane. Oh, you get to fly for 12 seconds. <laughs> I'm going to fly the P-38. P-38. Nice. Outside of the thing of the Wildcat or the 109? Well, BF109 is a great plane, but I don't want to play a German plane in an event like this. It is a great plane, but uh, yeah. I'm going to fly the P-38 just because I'm going a long time and it represents a lot. It's, and it's kind of similar to the planes, you know, it's kind of a mix between your, well, it was a fighter, but kind of a mix between a fighter and a bomber, though it was just a fighter. What's up, MB? Things are things are okay, my man. Things are okay. You know, it's a uh, good time of the year for me. You know, I love this time of the year, but to me, it's always it's hard for me. Hey, thanks for thanks for sharing that. Uh, what you said at the beginning there. I, I was wondering what was up with you. That was the first thing I thought of. Like, I've, I've been there. I understand. So it's yeah. Hard to so talk about. yeah. No, it, it talk, is. It's, talk, it's, it's, yeah, well, I'm glad you feel the same way because a lot of people don't yeah. understand. And, uh, oh, yeah. yeah, so I struggle I from hard from addiction. And uh, yeah. I, I, I don't, once don't had a... a... Don't feel embarrassed, you know. You no, I don't. I, I mean, well, I mean, I do. I'm not a lie. I do feel embarrassed. I'm not a lie. But uh, I'll say this. So I used to have another team around me. Some of the guys are still here today. Some of the guys have left. And... Uh, it was uh, it was hard, you know, because I eventually came back. When I came back, I realized, you know, that I wasn't well, and then I made the decision to go to rehab, and uh, it was it was it was hard because I didn't want to go. I felt like if I left, that people would forget about me. It was a really bad experience. I'm not gonna really get in detail about rehab. I mean, it was good, but it was also bad. But uh, easy is one of the people that like. Even though, I, even though I, I did not have access to my phone, Easy called me multiple times, checking on me. So did Noah. Ninja, uh, he didn't know where I was. Ninja was always a person in my flights. He didn't yes. know. He didn't know uh, my personal stuff, but uh, he was he was there. And, uh, yes, they were. And, but but long story short, the guys were like, you know what? You have to get. You have to come back. Like you have made a community. There's so many people out here now. They're like doing what you're doing, trying to be like you, because when you left, nobody knew what to do, and it's like, it killed me, it's like, I was like, man, that's, you know, it's like, and everybody's like, just be open, man, like, we love you, just be open, like, you don't have to be perfect, just be open, and people, people will support you, just be open, you know? yeah. it took me a long time to really gain that confidence oh. in myself, he's now to watch it, yeah, you don't get, you don't get, you got skis well, out there? No floats? <laughs> thank you, MB. Thank you. I know I know, I I know I'll get through it. I know I will. You know, I got really, yeah. really good people around me. Good. Yeah. I didn't mean to cut you off there. No, 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 nobody, nobody. You're fine. Don't ever feel that way. Yeah. You can talk whenever yeah. you want to. I the less I the less I have to talk, the more I thank yeah. you. Uh, MB uh, Ninja, do me a favor. Uh, will you post a link of the Discord inside of the, uh, the YouTube channel? Sure. So, MB Ninja here. He is our head. He's our head admin. He's going to post a link there in the YouTube chat. Just join that. So when you join the Discord, so uh, Ninja, will you please kind of explain how what, what you got to do once you join with the uh, the roles you made? So you made a really uh, really special uh, type of program of our of our Discord. It's, it's actually kind of neat. Uh, if you want to talk about that, so people are not 
confused. All right, I'm just, yeah, I'm just trying to do two things. Yeah, when you join your Discord, you're going to be, all you're going to see is a rule tab. All you have to do is read the rules, and then at, and at the bottom, you're going to see where it says Hunger Squadron, and uh, or a bot will say Hunger Squadron, and underneath that bot, you hit the thumbs up, and after you hit the thumbs up, you'll get a, you'll get a roll, which will let you join our Discord, and you'll see everything else. Correct. And then, and after that, there's also another channel called Extra Channels, which will give you access to a few extra channels we have. So basically, the emojis. So once you hit the thumbs up, that makes you agree to the rules. And then under that, there's some emojis. And those emojis will give you access to other channels. So just click them all, and then you'll see our chat right now that's live. Just hop right on in, and you're in the chat, my man. Is that so? Like you are fantastic. He, yeah. Thank All God. Right, there's a link in the chat for Thank anybody God. who wants to join. Can I tell you what, yeah. that, that like one month I was doing it alone, I was like, this shit sucks. Yeah, yeah no, well, you know, it's like, whenever uh, me and Ninja... What's up, Heavy? Ninja, so you can do everything, just do it, dude. Do whatever you can. Uh, work your magic, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Very, very good. Even me, I'm yeah. like, hey, Ninja, how do you do this? Yeah, <laughs> it is. I mean, this court is a science. It literally is. And like yeah. you go in these discords, you're like, oh, this discord, this discord is great. Then you gotta find out, like, no, it's not. This discord can do so much more that that you think it could do. It has so much abilities. Discord that is like MySpace. Yeah. Correct. It is. Yeah. It's like MySpace, a voice chat. It's like a it's like a building block set that we can take the blank page when we first started and, and customize it the way you want it, how you want it to look, and anything. You can change it. It's not like something strict. But yeah, I spent time because I have other servers. I I use my own customs that I use to test. So I test everything in and I test it so I can understand it, how it works before I bring it over to the main server. So I'm not screwed up now for something goes and people go like, uh, what happened to this channel? It was there something, but now it's gone or something. But I always test it out in the test server I built. Then and then when I figure something out, I bring it over, put it install it, get it going, and up and running, make it look nice. How about how it reduce so much clutter so yeah so because we have a lot of other channels but not everybody might want to see the extra channels or get things exactly those so it helps reduce all the notifications so people are not turning off i mean, the those important channels that we want to get information out to you so what some people here just for the yeah a test server <laughs> Yeah, and, uh, by the way, guys, I don't know if you heard me earlier. I know we had some. We're picking out. So I had I've created this whole entire audio system for how I do this on Xbox. You're probably wondering how, how do you do all this on Discord and all this. It's it's so complicated. I can't even explain it. <laughs> it's just so much to it. But I make it work. So if you did not hear me earlier, tomorrow at Easy's group flight for the Texas Raiders, I am giving away a T-shirt. This says we support veterans. Got a bunch of our logo, our new logo on it. It'll be a one-week contest. You have the most votes. I will send you a T-shirt, free shipping, all that. You don't have to pay anything. This get, this is a worldwide. No matter where you live. Yep. So just take just take a really awesome photo during the group flight, Veterans Day, and if you win, you get a free T-shirt. Yes, and we're gonna let you know where we we wrote. Tomorrow during the play, we'll tell you where you can post that photo because it'll be a separate yes, channel. So it is a hidden channel right now, but yeah, when it, the flight happens, yeah. it'll go live right after the flight ends. It'll say yeah, T-shirt contest. Yeah, and that's where you post your picture, and like how it's it, the, the people with the most votes, you'll get the you'll get a, you get a T-shirt. You don't have to pay anything. You'll you'll send it right out to you. All you have to do is send DM pilot your your address, and you'll have that up right away. And I know a lot of y'all guys have asked me where did I get this t-shirt at, this flight splitter t-shirt. This was a shirt like three months ago that was available. I, I think they now have removed it because they're all like very short stock. But uh, if you go to, it was called, uh, uh, I think it's Xbox Hotwire.com, where I got this, this 40th anniversary shirt from. Like, this is not my t-shirt. But uh, for those who asked, that's how I got the t-shirt. Um, I don't think it's available anymore. I'll tell you this. Shop.xbox.com, and they do have some flight simulator stuff, but not a lot. Yeah, not a lot. And it's very, it goes very fast. Like, if you're not there within a week, you'll, they, you'll say, I'll stop. 
it's kind of pink on the lighting. All right, so real fast, guys, I'm gonna put my wheels in the water. Oh, uh, everybody, eyes on pilot as you can see him. What time do you got out of uh, seven I got, well, I probably miss, I got points, so I can't, I can only tell the time for each point. Oh, I can touch the but, water. Y'all watch this, look at that. Touch the water, look. Oh, so let's see, I already forget this DPS search. I'll shoot up water, look at that. Uh oh. Uh, let's see. Somebody's in a wood gun. What's that G uh, GT chat, man? What's up? Oh, that's not my audio. That's pilot's audio. It's <laughs> not my engine, but. Uh, M, uh, Ninja, we need a new link. LB says the system is expired. I, really? I just. I just took that link from our server just minutes ago. Just hit generate new link. That's Discord right. for you. Discord does that constantly on the YouTube channel. Alright. I get that all the time with my comments. People are like, just inspired. Even, even though it's an infinite link, I don't know. Yeah, I'll make a new one. Sounds like I'm trying not to crash. the thing with our Discord. Roger, experimental zero easy, easy, come a little bit closer. Okay, I'm gonna skip to put mic inside my mouth, how about that? <laughs> well, that'd be great. That'd be great. <laughs> Just it. That'd be great. Check, check, check. No yeah, you, sound, you sound good now. <laughs> yeah, no gross dog. You sound good now, though. <laughs> something, about eating, something about eating a hot dog. Flipping uh, backwards, where it's facing away. I'm gonna get you a mic like mine. I got one right here on my seat for you. You ready? You see it? You see this? No, no. See this right here? On the camera? I'm gonna send this to your house. Yeah. If that link doesn't work, just send me a, a private message on Discord and I'll send you one through that. I have like three mics that I don't even use anymore. They're all very good on I'm wondering the same thing. What? Say it one more time. What plate are you playing? Double Ender. Oh, come on. That's what I got, friends. It's one of the best yeah, push planes available. It has, a, it has a push and pull. Yeah, push and, and pull. Uh, and the cockpit is real nice because it feels like you're actually sitting in a helicopter. It's got like a bubble cockpit around Correct. so you can just see. Oh, nice. And so, yeah, just, if you, look, if you watch the YouTube person. right now, if you can see my yeah, screen. Photo of third person from me. Yeah, so in third person right there, look like this. Oh, that's a nice view first person. Yeah, there's a little delay. And then, uh, yeah, yeah, a little delay. Now you have like all these systems right here. Yeah. Uh, you do a little uh, uh, rotation on it real quick. Yeah, I'll do you know, a little sorry. rotation. Yeah. So, so, so Ninja, the, tell them no, about no, tell them no, about the secrets first. of this plane that no one knows. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Tell them about all the, yeah. all the things this plane actually comes with. Not, not yeah. including the systems, just what this plane has oh, with it externally. Oh. Okay, okay. This this double ender has a lot of cool features. Like in, you can in the computer in front of in the instrument computer in front of you, you can actually go in. You see all this right here on my screen. Camping site, dirt, camps, tie downs. Camps are dirt, uh, tie downs. So you can actually set realistic too. So the more dirt you hit and it turns on the area, it'll spot you know your tires will wear out. You splash your feet. Oh yeah, this yep. plane will literally shoot dirt on it. And depending on your weight, too, the more weight you put in the back, it will replace the back seat, and you'll have camping gear that'll show up, too. And if you have the campsite out when you're parked, you actually have gas tanks on each side of your tire that you can actually refill your plane through those. When the tent out, you can go into the tent, pull a soda out of the cooler, crack it open, we'll unroll the bed, pull um, the head, cook food on the stove, put, turn on the lantern. You can fill the plane up with the actual gas tank. Yeah, yeah, and and there's, you know how like on the caribou, well, uh, the caribou, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the caravan, how that's how those st storage pods underneath it, well, this had storage pods on the, on the pod side doors, yeah, there's a little door you open up, and inside there, there's an actual folder, with actually shows real pictures of these, of the people, actual people flying this, that they put into the sim. That's cool, man, they got a lot of stuff. Yeah, and this plane is real cool because the more you, the more you push it, the more stretch you do to it. So it actually has it. Yeah, and it I wears out. 
Yeah, and I actually put the stress, I put the limit, to, I mean, not the stress, the, the percentage on my tires to zero. And you can see my tires all picked to hell, all roughed up. So if you see on my screen right here, you'll see my name. You'll see my plane. So I just yes. refresh it all, but all this wears out. Yep. Alternator, it wears out engine, tow wheel, brakes. It'll shoot mud all over your plane, dirt. Yeah. It gets dirty as you fly it. Yes, it's on, uh, there's a screen that yeah, you see on this YouTube right now. You have to go through there, prepare it, you can actually see it. There's fuel through inside the plane too. You can actually use the fuel page on there too. So you don't have to always have to pull up the camping gear to refuel it as well, or open up the, the weight and bound and refuel it. And then uh, on top of and that, like in the tent, you can literally close the screen. You can drink a beer from the cooler, you can cook on the stove, all from within this plane. Yes, and the cool thing is too, if, I know it's a little dark on pilot screen, but in the front there, you can actually see the brake fluid moving around if pilot rotates. Like, yeah. It's so there's a little flake fluid container. Plane. That's some of yeah. the most uh, detail, detail I've seen. Yeah, and this is yeah. on the Xbox. And this plane can take off with with full flaps and full throttle and, and a very short distance. Yeah, like 20 feet. Yeah, 20 feet or less. Yeah, yeah. Really, you, you took off real quick. Yeah, and, yeah. I, and I wasn't even trying. That wasn't even full flaps. The full flaps, you could go like one, two, and you're off the ground. Yep, you're right off the ground. You don't need too much, and you can really land this thing. But the view is nice. And it has really good, like, correct flight characteristics. So, like, when you're coming in with, like, full flaps, the thing will drift on you. It's like takeoff. Uh, it gets real, like, it's, it's hard to explain. It gets really unique on the way it flies. Yeah, and also too, if I'm sure pilot has them on, on your over your left shoulder, if you look a little back, there's a light. There's some headphones you can put on, and when you take those on, it yep. changes this. They're right here, behind me. Put those so, on. Yes. You can't really, I don't know if you can tell in the chat, but uh, yeah, you can hear it. Put those on, uh, yeah. and it changes the you sound. You might not hear it. You can hear it. Yeah, you I might not hear it too well. Yeah, too well stream, but I mean, you might hear it in stream, but not in the actual chat. But yeah, jumping muscles is. MLB, yes. Anything that's Piper, I recommend. So, my, Kit Fox here is definitely our Piper expert here. Kit Fox, would you recommend the PA-34? The Seneca? Yes. For sure, uh -oh. definitely. I have the Seneca. I've not flown in a while. But absolutely. Anything that's Coronado, absolutely. Hmm. So, Nin, uh, sorry, Kit Fox here contacted Coronado because he, like me, is kind of wondering, like, are well, they been so silent? and stuff, but uh, Kit Fox here has a little information about that for y'all. Yeah, they did get back to me. They are working on something and they did say to stay tuned. They didn't tell me any what they were doing, but they are still active. Uh, and hopefully hear something soon. So I have to add the RG82 to my to my, uh, my hangar. It's one of the only planes that yeah. I don't have. I have to get that in the next couple weeks. So just for personal interest, Yes. I will say that I see a lot of criticism towards Carinado for their flight model. Some of it I do agree with. I think they're a little bit floaty, but that is speaking on their earlier products like the Model 18, some of their local legends like the Bonanza. But the RG, I think, is the start of them really kind of nailing it down because the RG is probably the best Cessna that you can get in the sim yeah. on Xbox. I agree there, because too, a lot of times when developers start, they always see a little bit, their stuff usually starts off a little rough, but as they do more and improve their skills, stuff they usually start getting better over time. They do, of course. So just like what Virtual Air Pilot, or Virtual Airliner Pilot say yesterday in this video, you know, we have a lot of critique on developers, not realizing how much actually you know, goes in place to make an airplane or to make a at all an airport or a scenery it's there's so much to it you know it's not just a simple get on there spend a few minutes i mean this it's hundreds of hours and not to mention thousands of dollars you're looking at at least yes. two thousand dollars minimum just for the wi sound pack which is most commonly used in a lot of aircraft correct you find them in the sim correct if yes. you want anything that's special, I'm talking about at least ten thousand dollars, just just by sim acoustics, just I for sound. 
Uh, okay. Oh, MD, did that link work for you? Did the second link work for you? Were you able to join? Okay, if not, just send me a personal message on Discord. It's my name's the exact same thing in the chat, in the YouTube chat. Yeah, there's some in the PC series. So I'm saying F-16, how they're surviving at these low speeds, I don't know, but I know, I salute to you. Too. Salute to you, buddy. Spoilers? That has spoilers on it, right? Yeah, but even at this speed, though. Yeah. And I'm going 98 knots. Got the trip jack. Alright. Oh, my DFR map lost the, the roof. At least it's still on the flow map. Yeah, same thing with me from the very beginning. It's on my, but it's still on my GPS. Well, on my, yeah, it's on my GPS, but I don't have it on my actual DFR. Yeah, no, my, at least I got my compass in the top left corner, so that's still there too. I feel like the sim needs to redo the Amazon. I mean, even at low altitudes, it does not look like the Amazon. No, they got a bunch of uh, elevation points that are lower where the water will be raised. They look like uh, a tsunami was coming through, like on the shoreline that was 20 feet taller than the middle. Yeah. Yeah. And it's been like, I mean, like the wrong trees, like all the wrong trees. MB, MB, if you go to my Discord, buddy, and just go to my home page, and just go to my links, you'll see the Discord link right there. Yeah. And, like, MB, if you, like I said, you can also send me a personal message on Discord, because my name is, like I said, my name is the exact same thing in YouTube. And I'll get to you after this flight. What's up, Rubber Duck? It's all good, buddy. Happy Veterans Day to you, and cheers to you as well, my friend. Yes. We're in Lake George. Okay. I know. Yeah, I know exactly I, where you're at. But yeah, I think the double ender is probably the best push plane on the console, at least. Yeah, because it has a lot of um, physics. Well, as far as abilities. Yeah, because, like I said, there's a lot of abilities and stuff, and, like, the wear downs and all cool, because if you push the engine too hard, you can kill your engine, because I know when me and Pi were doing some shorts, he yeah. was pushing his double engine so much, he was killing his engines constantly, and he had to keep repairing them. It has wear time. It has wear and tear. Yeah, so, it's kind of cool, though, for a good, uh, real time play. Kid Fox, I know, I know you got a plane of mine. Which, which plane are you thinking of? <laughs> uh, I was gonna say, you know, after after this legacy collection, I think the only competition Got Friends has is themselves. <laughs> oh yes, absolutely, I agree. I, I think Got Friends has killed the bush plane industry. Now, now the Kit Fox is a great plane, without a doubt. Oh yeah. But 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 is it realism or is it study level? No, I wouldn't call it that. I'll say it's decent, but it's not. Yeah. Vegas, you can put well, the Kip Ox through shit and it'll still crank right up no matter what you do. Double Ender will not I, do I that. Say there's, there, there's three categories I like to put in the you've got, you've got the fun factor, you've got utility, and then you've got the realism. Correct. Realism, I think it would come down to, say, maybe Blackbird or Fly Somewhere, you know, those sort of study level, study level type deals. You've got the fun factor, like, you know, God friends. Fun factor all day, every day. And you've got utility with uh, Parallel 42. You've got your camp out, you've got your camping scenery. Hell, you've got the UTV that just came out. So, you know, it, it, when it, you put it like that, I don't really like to, you know, put a developer at the very top. Like, it's to hard me, to do Apple to Apple, 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 saying. Yeah. I agree. They all do their own thing, and they're all equally fantastic. Yeah, in their own way. Oh, yeah. So, TJ Turner, you know, he makes a good point. The Wilga is an absolutely great plane. It's also uh, got friends. Yeah, that is true. I haven't flown that thing in a long time. Axel, yes. I am on Xbox. I do not fly with the controller, no. I have Turtle Beach pedals. I have a Turtle Beach stick. I have a Turtle Beach yoke. I have a Thrustmaster stick. 
Dirt I have a uh, Axe Air Me up here, and then uh, me and Ninja both have a me uh, a Axe Air Millie uh, pre-ordered, which I will be reviewing. Ooh. Hopefully, uh, hopefully tomorrow. Nobody's so tomorrow's the big day for a lot of controllers. So hopefully tomorrow, a lot of you guys do not lose access to your controllers. Tomorrow's the day where Xbox said anything that's not licensed will be banned. Yes, yeah, so we'll just have to wait and see, because... By the way, guys, I'm to... sorry that I keep yawning. I know I keep yawning on the stream. I'm just tired. It's been a very busy day for me. I worked a uh, I, I have literally took taken care of a thousand people today. And that's not an exaggeration. Well, it's, it's daylight savings, and, you know, yeah. five o'clock feels like ten o'clock, so... Yeah. <laughs> I mean... What kind of bands? What was, like, the genre? It is... It's uh, a songwriters festival, so most of it's country. Nice, but uh, not really my taste. But uh, a lot of famous people there, a lot of people from Nashville and stuff. But a uh, huge, huge crowd. So, from hey, speaking of the Mia, I did see uh, a comment saying that they reached out to Microsoft. They haven't heard back, but. They Correct. believe that since it registers as a keyboard, it shouldn't be affected, but Correct. they will let people know if something happens. Correct. They told me the same yeah. thing, and mine has not shipped yet, and I feel like that's kind of the reason why, that they're waiting to see what happens tomorrow before they do shipments on the Millie. I don't have confirmation yeah. of that, but they told me the same thing. Yeah. TP, what's up, buddy? I'm so glad you stopped by. Uh, TJ Thank Turner, you. the Mall M7. What plane is that? Yes, because I could see the the melee being perhaps there's still probably sending all those out. But here's my question though. But here's my question. So if, uh, so if, so as we know, it works as a an extension of the keyboard. Okay. Yes. So if your keyboard itself is not registered with Microsoft, does it also kill the Axe Air? Because the Axe Air attaches to your keyboard. So I'm on a Razer keyboard. I'm and here the thing is I'm. I don't think keyboard. that would be affected though, personally, yeah. because Microsoft does manufacture keyboards. They do make Razer makes a keyboard mouse combo specifically for. No, no, Xbox, no, no, they so. do. But I'm just saying, like, if someone had a keyboard that was not, so say that you know, like Amazon has plenty of keyboards that work great on Xbox. So let's just say you bought a keyboard of Amazon for like thirty bucks. You like so Ninja has a, like a really small keyboard works really good for yeah. him. Nothing special. It just works. It does, it does what it needs to do. It's great. It's nice. It's and pretty. It like, lights up. So what if that keyboard was, like was banned? Cups. Would it also it ban? Like yeah. Would it also ban your X Air that attaches to it? No, I don't think so because the X Air because no. my key because my keyboard is wireless, but it's two different units. So so I don't think so. Okay. Because so TP. Yeah, hold time. 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 So TP's here. So TP's my good buddy. TP's also very close with X Air. So, TB has been messing me in private about a lot of this stuff in the conversation. So, TB is saying, hey, pilot, I'll DM you. I was talking to the actor this afternoon in regards to shipping time. The actor is only controllers that it will be affecting. So, if that is true, like TB is saying, like I said, and TB sent me a lot of really good information as well. TB actually went out on a limb and actually contacted Microsoft himself and talked to them about this whole situation. He got a lot of really good information. So, what TP is saying is, what, to, to, according to what Microsoft is saying, then we should all be good. I think we will be. Yeah. Yes. I, I think they're just being cautious. I, I mean, I think I, they're, they're, they're going after good. controller modded coding, not yeah, basic like, keyboard, it's USA not keyboard. Even that. It, it's the, like, the, the crappy little, you know, non. Wish.com. Wish.com yeah. controllers, basically. Or yeah. Timu, or, uh, or what's the or other those side? Cheat controller. Yeah. Or those controllers that were meant more for cheating, like color yeah, or yeah, modded mod mod controllers. It's it's modded yeah. coding. But here's the thing, though. There's some controllers that are like eighty bucks. They they do the same thing. Well, are they gonna be banned as well. It's the elite controller gonna be banned, which is Microsoft. I mean, it's no. It has no. extra paddles. So it don't have cheated coding, but it does have extra abilities versus the well, default the controller. But I think it's more like the coding because you can just, I think it depends on how the triggers work in that with it. Because I have a Elite Controller and Elite has three different lock positions for yeah. the triggers. Yes, correct. I have an Elite Controller as well. I don't use it anymore, but same thing, yeah. So, 
I used to use it. I used to use the paddles under the controller for kneeling and and uh, laying on the ground. And I used the trigger pressure as short as it could be, so I could fire things like like the Garand, for example, really fast. Like da 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 da. Yeah. So I don't need a sniper. I could use my M1 Garand, and I could just do 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 really fast. Yeah. I don't know. Like I said, it just because the difference is between the leaky charge trigger. It just reduces the trigger. Pull. But but how about the paddles though? So but you can you can set it to burst fire though. In in a, in in a elite controller, you can make your trigger do burst burst movements. Yeah. Or burst the fire. The elite controller is an official Microsoft product, so you do not yeah, have to worry about that. No no I know that, yeah. but I'm just saying though. But like but but where, where's the line at though? Like if someone else copies what they did, and they get banned. I don't know. Like I said, the patterns are a little different because those are just like extra buttons. So but in Halo, hey, I use the burst controller a lot. In Halo Three, especially, boy, that burst that burst fire, the damn assault rifle, my god, it was a the, the, the Magnum. Like, um, I use the, the, the stuff controllers. controllers. Those will not because again, those are officially licensed controllers. Yeah, correct. Just correct. modified by third party, and those are also approved by Microsoft. Otherwise, they wouldn't sell them in games. So, but know? but but here's the issue, though. It is the fact that there's many companies that are trying to get the licensing the licensing from Microsoft, but Microsoft is saying we're not taking on new partners right now. It's like what? Yeah. You make money off of me, but you don't want to take me on as your partner. Yeah. That's weird. I yeah. know. So coming what Psychotank just said. So Psychotank said it's Microsoft being greedy cats. I agree. I think it's more about them trying to isolate the market, just like with the gaming industry, with uh, developers like Activision and stuff. I feel like it's more about that than it is actually about cheating. I could be wrong, but to me personally, I feel like it's more about that than it is cheating. What's y'all's opinions? That sounds, sounds about right. Yeah, I mean, they're trying to buy up everything because Microsoft wants everything to become cloud gaming. They want to be a subscription base where if, you know, we sell you no digital products or no, I'm sorry, no physical products, we give you a, a stream. We become an app on your TV like Netflix. You download the app. You connect your controller and you just Bluetooth it there. You play anything that you want for 20 bucks a month and we make no console. We just have a cloud-based everything. We own the controllers. We own all the games. We own the rights to everything. And it's like, okay, well, we then, we're now Walmart. We monopoly everything, and we kill everybody. I mean, they're trying to buy Nintendo. Nintendo will never sell yeah. it, but they're trying to buy Nintendo. Yeah, they're trying, they're trying to be like Steam, which, you know, Steam is like all online and everything. Thank you, TJ. Yeah, they, they want to own the industry. They want to be Steam. Yeah, and Steam, like I said, just released it like, like a couple years ago. There's Steam, your Steam Deck, which means you can download a lot of your games on there and go. And Steam is now for you know, a version of the Steam Deck with a little bit better uh, 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 screen, more better. But yeah, they're just trying to be like Steam, so you can so all the games are digital. Correct. But and, I'll uh, say this: if there's anything I've learned from years of watching anything that's digital, so when you're in a physical industry of things like Walmart, it, things are a little bit different on how things work because there's so much more things to it. In the digital industry, it's like you can be on top for a year, but then the next year you could be at the bottom. So Amazon, you know, has, you know, it, they're still doing very well today, but they've had their moments where they were like freaking out, like, what do we do? Because anything that becomes like digital, everything, online, there's one person that figures out a new niche and kills everything that you've done all this and it's like okay next thing you know it's like in with the you know in with the old out with the new or you know how the saying goes but I mean, it's kind of works yep so like TJ Turner just said you don't spend 7 billion for a single game studio for nothing he's correct there's a reason why they're spending 7 billion dollars on Activision and Blizzard uh, the truth about that is it's not Call of Duty they want it's the king the mobile division because the yes, mobile division mobile makes division, more absolutely. money than called I agree what, you know, no no I agree with that absolutely cell phones uh, simple gaming you know because the uh, the attention span these days is very short you know people want to play something like say Angry Birds who remembers uh, what's it called Flappy Bird you remember when that got banned no. oh yeah you remember when it got banned was it called Flappy Bird 
I don't think it was banned. The guy quit because he couldn't handle like the popularity. Yeah, but oh, but You're okay. Millions. Correct. Year, but but but, you, but it's called chicken out. But it's called what? <laughs> What's it called? Flippy Bird or Flappy Bird? Flappy Bird, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but it was like a huge deal. So let's talk about Minecraft. Think about the guy that created Minecraft. The Microsoft bought him out for how, how much money was it? It was in like a billions. I think it was like three billion. For Minecraft, yeah, out of sure. all things, now now what is Microsoft doing? They're saying that even if you YouTube Minecraft and it's not within these parameters, that they have all the rights to completely kill your channel, sue you, and you can do nothing about it. Yeah, you can't even use because we probably saw a video and stuff on or, or like a few months ago. Like you can't even use some, how they changed the rule on how you use Minecraft. You can't even put Minecraft in the title of your YouTube video. No, you, you cannot, and you and you can't do anything that is a mod for Minecraft, or they can come after you. So, like, yeah. what if they did that in the Microsoft Flight Simulator? Yeah, for, like, tutorial videos and stuff. Yeah, you can't use Microsoft in the... Well, they say, you know what, anything. you cannot say anything against us that does not glorify your name. If you do, we can remove you. Nothing you can do about uh, it. They just changed the backlog of contracts. What's it called uh, in Minecraft? Uh, Whenever you buy a game, there's a term for it. But, but basically, it's like when you buy it, you're agreeing to these rules and terms that they can change service? at any time. You mean to a term of service? End of user license agreement. Yeah, yeah, end of user uh, license agreement. Are, That's it. End of user license, license agreement. agreement. Yes, correct. Well, on the other hand, like... In Minecraft, out of all no things, Minecraft. In the world than ad advertising, so... Well, well that's what, what I've been saying for years. Like, like what happened with Minecraft? Basic. Well, I think it's more like Nintendo is probably what you're thinking of, because Nintendo's the one, like, if you do not specify specifically what you're doing, how you're using their content, yeah, you'll get a knock from their lawyers. And I don't know if you guys know the story, so there's a lot of good documentaries about Nintendo. I love Nintendo. I have a Switch. I lo you know, I love Zelda. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta know that. But I'll say this. I don't, I don't know if y'all heard the story about the guy. He he bought a game early from Target. I know before I talked about this on my live stream before about how I once bought a CD from the band Under Oath that was released early uh, in the store. The store had sold it early, like a week in advance, and I put it on YouTube a few years ago. And uh, when I did it, the actual label had messaged me. It was like, Where'd you get it from? You know, like they knew everything about me. It was like instant. Like, we, where'd you get it from? You better speak. We're going to sue you for like, like some huge money. And it was actually a Christian store that sold to me called Lifeway. They're now bankrupt. They're gone. But uh, same thing with this guy. He bought it from Target. Now his his mistake was he did he did upload the the game to be torrented. So that is a no no. No matter what you do, Nintendo hit him with a twenty six million dollar lawsuit. It was insane. Yeah, they hit him with it. Ruined his life. And uh, and then to top it off, uh, so in the same document I was watching there, so from what I read, it said like Nintendo has enough money saved up to this day that even if they went negative for like the next 50 years, they would still be a company because they have so much money saved up because they're such a niche company. Nintendo is just, Nintendo's not known for making realism. They're known, they, they are a family company. You think of family games, games that you want to play with your kids, you think of Nintendo, you don't think of Xbox, you do not think of PlayStation, you think of Nintendo. Yeah, like Mario, Mario Party, Mario Kart, Mario Sports, Mario Tennis, Mario Olympics. And obviously Microsoft was a piece of that because... Uh, there is, just not on Xbox. On PC, yes. Yeah. No, or some on PC. Also, it's uh, $1,300. So. Correct. <laughs> and there's some, there, yeah. the, 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 there's even some flight sticks I've seen by some companies that have feedback on them. They're like four or $5,000. There is a collective I've seen online that's like $10,000 for PC that has feedback for helicopters. 
Yeah, ten grand. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I've seen people spend on some of these groups where they spend a hundred thousand dollars on a simulator setup. I'm like, you could bought a real fucking system for that. Come on now. I saw an ad on Facebook for a shopping mall in Washington D.C. It has a full 737 flight sim. Yeah. For a, a, an hour long flight is is a round trip ticket. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> on a real flight. Yeah. yeah. So okay. here. Out, out here where I live, I'm, so I, so you, I'm in Pensacola, I'm in Perdido, I'm on an island technically, which is, if it's still because you're Pensacola, there is, you go to Mobile, which is an hour away, they have the whole entire Airbus facility and stuff out there where they're building Airbus planes. They have this little, uh, it's like a, it's a couple hangars out there. It's called like Explore Alabama or something like that. You can fly a, uh, an Airbus A320. It is $275 per hour to get in the simulator. Per hour, two hundred and seventy-five dollars. Is that's outrageous? Sitting in front of my TV on my Xbox is just fine. They think I want to do it because they say it's like they say it's like the real simulator, like the their pilots used. You know, I, I want to try it. You know, I saw yeah. Pilot Stud do it. Pilot Stud did it, and he crashed the first landing. He ended up getting it though. But he was like, you know, it's actually much harder than you actually think it is. I'm like, I, I don't doubt that. I do not doubt that at all. But I, but I really want to do a video on it and just test, you know, what is my knowledge of from what I think from the, just five days, five days or 20 for a month. Okay, I'm going to fly it through 20. I got all my stuff, in, I got all my books in the road just because there's not a Boeing one out here, so I can't do something for seven, which I know a lot more. So said, okay, go back to the Airbus. Let me go out there. Let's do a video. Put me in the plane. Set me up. Let me see if I can do it. See what happens. So, so actually, Psycho Tank made a very good point. He says, you know, Microsoft controllers do not come with with a, you know, a in controller charge pad. They sell the charge pack separately. That's a very good point. And third parties then license to sell the battery pack. And Microsoft gets a percentage of that license to sell, just like the ones I got in my controller right now, which are complete garbage. You know? So, guys, yep. before the live stream, I was just talking about Monday. I was telling them to remind me to get new battery packs. These are like six months old and they're already shot. After five minutes, they die. I have to add my controller. Look, look right now. I got two things plugged through my controller. It's it's, it's kind of ridiculous. There's two cores yeah. plugged into this thing, to keep it alive. And, and, the and it looks brand new. Yeah, and I agree. The funny thing is, I agree with Python. Those battery packs that Microsoft sells, that I got some and they only lasted like a month or so, and they started to knock them back. Day, so I but but I can put in some brand new yeah. lithium batteries, yeah. some Rayovac, and, and they last two months. And I'm, and I'm just I'm using Energizer batteries for my controller. So right I'll now. tell you what I learned years ago during Halo Three, and I, I'm I, I, you know actually I'm gonna go back to this. So never mind, I'm gonna go back to this. Buy buy the actual batteries from like Energizer, for example, where they have the plug in the wall thing with the actual meter and stuff on them, where it protects the battery life. Buy those. I had one of those things where it lasted me like four years. That's what I'm using now. And they will last me one. like a week at a time. When I finally gave them up, I was like, oh, they only last a week. This is garbage. And I threw them away. I'm like, I can get this thing to last me five minutes. And it dies. Yeah, I got the two I had in my crew that died. They were already, they had, they were already been used for a few, last few days. So they And these battery packs, they literally tell you. So the actual, uh, I'm sorry, not pack, the actual wall charger, they come on, it tells you the history of the battery. The percentage is charging, the life of the battery. It tells you all this information about the batteries that you have. So it's like if one is going out, you can take that battery out of the equation, put a new one in, and it can actually help benefit the other batteries that you're putting in your controllers. You got something you got a cord. Kind of like on Amazon the other day, I was just going to Amazon, and this thing popped up. It was like a RGB battery pack. I'm like, why in the hell do I want an RGB battery pack? Uh, what? You're selling me an RGB, like a, like a three cent LED, and saying, "Oh, this is the best thing." It says, "Long, long lasting life." How's it long lasting life? But it's got colors. Yeah, but it's got colors. It's got a button on the bottom of it. Just click the click the button. You, you, you your controller can light up. I'm like, I don't want my controller to light up. I just want my keyboard to light up. My mouse, which I actually keep it turned off unless I'm moving it. I have too much yeah. RGB. It gets old after a while. You get tired of RGB. Am I wrong? Does, do people here get tired of RGB? Next PC I build, I'm just doing a really flat. I'm just doing white and clear. Nothing else. No, I'll, I'll do some RGB in the inside for like my, uh, for like my, uh, my, uh, 
when I do the uh, the uh, what's it called the uh, the uh, intercooling. You got yeah, like the yeah. hose things that go around it, the yeah, light up. The, the AIO. Yeah, the AIO, yeah. I'll do that, yeah. but as far as the outside and all that, no. The fans, no. Yeah. No, Ram no, no. does look cool when it has some LEDs on there or RGB, but it's not necessary. Really. Yeah. If you can get faster RAM or slow RAM with colors, go with the faster RAM. Right? No, absolutely. Absolutely. And then, like, yeah. I'm going to do I'm gonna do the wireless, like, where you can start your computer from your phone or you can put the key in it, start your computer, and that's it. I don't want no yeah. RGB fans and all that mess. It's just, it's useless. It, just, it gets annoying. You look, you constantly see it in your corner. Yeah, and that's the thing is too. I, I don't really need it. Like, see, even if I get one. Let me roll with you, buddy. I see you flip it over. I'm rolling with you. Let's do it. If I see, if I get a PC that has a little bit of lights in it, that's fine. But I don't need one that looks like a, a disco ball. TJ Turner, I think the reason why people are obsessed with it is because like, oh, it lights up. It looks cool. I don't know. Not necessary to have one that looks like a like a disco room actually. Hold on, time real fast. Messy, messy. I do have a pair of wireless headphones, and you are correct. But here's the problem: on the Xbox, if you're doing live streaming, you have to have a pair of wired headphones for it to come through correctly, no matter what you do. So I I have literally broke the rules of how you can live stream next. So like right now, we are in Discord chat. Yes. Most people. Like, if you go on Discord chat and try to live stream, no one can hear anybody but you. You'll be like, well, how do people hear you, Pilot? How do they hear you speaking? I have so much crap going on wired-wise to make this work. I can't even explain it. But <laughs> I broke the rules. Even after contacting Elgato, they said, this is not possible. You cannot do this. I made it happen. But one did. thing I cannot correct, even with wireless headphones that will Bluetooth to my PC... For some reason, the the sound quality from Xbox and the PC it kills it. One will be really good, the other one will be like static. It's just garbage. It's just not quality. So, as much as I want to leave a corded headset, so like these headphones, these are the Astro. Uh, hold on, the Astro A40s. These here are 175 bucks, and then I even got some of the modifications in them. And I even got software on my computer to make them even better. But on my Xbox, they're nothing more than a $20 pair of Astro A10s. And hey, look, look at this. See this, how these all come off? These all come, these little things right here, they come off. You can change this, you can change the, uh, the isolation sound. You can, you can download new software inside of these. You can change this. I mean, they're, they're neat. But as far as a Xbox use of them, they're no different than any pair of $10 headphones. Put them in my PC, they're like a whole other pair. They're like a pair of Bose headphones. Hmm. You hear bass, you hear sound, you hear surround sound. I even pay for Dolby Atmos on Xbox, and I hear no difference from any other headset. It just well, sounds the same. With, uh, yeah, yeah, me too. That's what this came with. Two years, two years. And to me, it sounds just the same as my $20 pair of headphones from Amazon. Did you change the, uh, the settings and the... Uh the, uh, what's it called? The headphones have its own app or whatever. You can well, change the settings. Not on Xbox, though. Yes, it is. It's on Xbox. Yeah, is for it, for Astro? Available. Yes, they made it available. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, hey, well, good looking out. I appreciate you telling me that. I will definitely check the right for this route flight. I did not know that. I don't know what shoot other people. That's fine. Uh, buddy, I appreciate you letting me, letting me know that. I have not seen that. So, Oops, good, okay. great, great looking out. So, is it is it just the Astro? Uh, Astro Cabana. Okay, so so me so right here I have a I have the Astro sound controller that connects to your headphones. You got that? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Uh, so I have the uh, the amp system that connects to your Xbox. Yeah. So you can change it from Xbox to PC. For, uh, from from Astro? Yeah, and then you can. Change is it the white or the black one? Uh, black one. Okay, I got the same thing. Okay, same thing. I didn't know. I did not know there was an app. That's probably my issue. Then. So you can customize on your different settings. So I have. So you should have four or whatever. You should be able to customize on what. You and want. the and the controller. Right. Yeah, which it changes it. You know, a little bit, but it's nothing crazy. It, thing is, like when I go to my PC, it's a huge difference in sound. Yeah, you just you just have to mess with it on the app so that when you get it to the Xbox. 
save your per your personal ones, the one you like the most. Like the one I have is like better surround sound. Than yeah, uh, which is what I like. I like surround sound. Yeah, so it's a lot better than if you just have it at the normal like ones that they have. So so messy. So m mine plays the controller too. I right now I'm plugged into my actual mic because of how I'm doing my Discord stream. But normally I'm plugged into my amp. Same thing. Uh, but I'm gonna try all this. I didn't. I didn't know there was an app. I'm gonna try this. Like I said, I can change some of the effect. But to me, to me, the Turtle Beach ones, like what Ninja has, sound way better than what I had. No matter what I do, I feel like the bass is much more realistic. But here's the thing, though. When, yeah. I, when I plug into my actual PC and then the software pops up, it's like a whole other pair of headphones. They, they literally tremble my eardrums. Like they shake my ears. But on the, on the Xbox, no matter what I do, I can't get that, that rumble. Like, I'll get some bass, but it's not rumble. It's not like, damn, I can really feel this. Yeah, it's like I said, it's not like my, my Bose stereo system. Where... But I'm going to try the app. I, didn't know, I did not know there was an app. I did not know that. I also believe that Xbox does limit the amount of noise. They do. That is true. I'm through the headsets. That is I true. Keep you from, I guess it keeps people from blowing well, up their hearing. That, that is true because yeah. I, I did research a lot of this when I was trying to figure out like the best headphones because I wanted these JBLs. I wanted to use their wireless, and uh, they don't work on it. Well, they do work on Xbox, but they don't have any extra any of the effects that they have. They don't work. You have to you have to use them on PC to get the effects of all the, of all this, the drivers and stuff. So it's like you're going to spend three hundred dollars on a pair of headphones to have absolutely zero use of them unless you put them on your PC so I got the A40s which are really good headphones they're, very, they're extremely comfortable I can wear them for hours but it's just like yeah. I, I just don't have the kick like I put on my PC I turn on a YouTube video I watch like my own video like I'll hit I'll hear some bass like bam I can feel it in my chest right here it's just like everything just feels kind of I don't know hollow I had a couple years ago I got I tried Turtle Beach I tried my best and I could not do it. Which I ones went did back you get? To, uh, uh, the 700X, I think is what it were, they were. I've always liked but Astros. I, Astros always been my go-to because just because they're, uh, just, they're solid. To me. Is that what you use Astros? I try. No, I have uh, Plantronics Rig 800 LX. Oh, you got Plantronics. They, okay. they they are built for Dolby Atmos. I've never I used Plantronics, well, but I do have Dolby Atmos right now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm using is that you know, like you said, it's a Turtle Beach Stealth 700, second gen. That's the headset I have on right now because it's. Uh, I actually got it way back because of the nice feature. Miss TP well, 17, TP's Dude. wife. Hello, Dude. everybody, say hello, Miss TP. That's TP's wife. Hello. Hey, Miss TP. Yeah, TP and TP's wife are great people. I mean, any couple that comes yeah. and joins a group life, I love that. I'm sorry. And, uh, and, I'm sorry. And, and, I'm sorry, Ninja. Keep talking. I didn't mean to cut you off. Yeah, and I was saying because I got like I said the stuff so hard because it's got a nice Bluetooth feature. I can connect to my my laptop and everything. And but but you yeah, notice an an effect, don't you? Don't you notice an effect of uh, an audio when you got the two connected together? Uh, the difference. I just noticed the game audio was a little bit harder if I'm using through my Bluetooth. Is that more hollow to you? Not for me. No. To me, it just sounds hollow. Uh, maybe PC is sounds, like, it, to me, like it's like maybe, the PC is like very full and you can, like you can literally feel it in your in your neck. On Xbox, yeah. I never feel anything. I, I I can hear it, but I don't feel it. Yeah, I don't have Adobe though on Xbox. So I don't think you can use it. Doesn't work with Adobe though on uh, the, with the, on Xbox. So I just never got it. So TJ, I, I agree with you. I do think that Turtle Beach headphones are uncomfortable, but I got a big head. To me, they're uncomfortable. Well, they, Still, series are more comfortable, but to me, they're a little bit loose. To me, Astro yet. fit me perfect. And yet, this thing is too because I actually because these my these Bell 700 I have right now these are very old. I recently was trying out the new Turtle Beach um, Stealth Pro, those newer ones they usually do find out, but like I said, they I tried them for almost a month. They were very I tried to get used to them, but they were so uncomfortable. They were like more squeezing in on my head. They I couldn't really get them nice and comfortable and everything. They were so tight. Come on, Quinn. Come join us, buddy. But, uh, yeah, I agree. Yeah, Turtle Beats are tight. They're tight headphones. So, to me, so like what uh, Psycho here is saying, I've had Astros for years. 
It's just Halo 3 days. I've had Astros, and the, and they've but always just not, been my, I, my go-to. I know they're not perfect. They're not the best, but they're just comfortable. To me. It's like I yeah. know I can put them on. And the A40s, there's so many customizations. You go to the website, you can change, like, all of this. You can change some of the, the hardware, some of the stuff in it. You can download new drivers. They're just always... You can change it up. It's like you're not... You don't buy one headset and you're like, okay, I'm stuck to this. I can say, okay, I got a headset. Uh, I I want to change this and this. And you can actually do it. So, like, these here, these are... So, you probably remember when I bought these. Like, six months ago, I bought these headphones. And, uh, I mean, they're, they're comfy. I mean, they don't bother me at all. I don't really feel them on my ears. They got plenty of room in them. I, I have one that really, like... I got big ears. I got, like, I got big ass ears. They're, they, they you yeah. know, it's hard to put my ears in headphones. You know, they, they hurt. These, yeah. these are just comfy. Yeah, and I agree. The one thing I really like about certain headphones is that, like, when I first got, like, the Astros and I moved to Reach, the one thing that really feels nice is the, the, the microphone mutes where you can quickly, instead of trying to find a button you need to mute something, you can just snap the microphone up. And that it that is true. I do like that. This is not how that, this has this right here. It's just one little switch. It's kind of annoying. I can click right here on my, on the thing normally, the, the mix amp, and do it that way. There is this, this thing like 300 bucks for Xbox. I forget who makes it where you can, uh, it's a separate software. It's a, I forget who makes it. They don't, I don't think they make headphones, but uh, it's like a sound controller for headphones. And it has a lot of really neat abilities. But uh, a lot of people say if you have, it works with some headphones, some it did, so I never bought it. Some people say like, you can buy Astros, it might work great, depending on which ones you got. And the other ones, people are like, oh, it's horrible. The reviews are like so up and down, so I never bought it. So I just got the one that came with these headphones. This one, I bought the the kit with these. It actually came with the uh, the mix amp with these. It was like fifty bucks with these headphones together. Separately, it was like one seventy five with the mix amp. Yeah, and the, and I actually the funny thing is, I actually had actual eight fifties, old version actual eight fifties, while back. I never had eight fifties. Uh, I've had the eight forties and the uh, the I think it's the eight twenties. Or, yeah, I'm sorry, A10s, A10s, A10s. Yeah, because I know there's two versions of the Astro A50s now, but the, the, the older version said they had the green headphones. I can give I away some of you guys, those. like, some headphones. If anyone wants some Astro A10s, uh, I'll do some giveaways. I got, like, three or four pairs right. of A10s, different colors. I'll give them away. <laughs> They're worn right, out. So they stink. So but, hey, if you need a pair of headphones, I'll give you some A10s. <laughs> Dude, that would be awesome. <laughs> yeah. Totally. yeah. I mean, I'll give you some A10s. They're wore out. But, hey, they still work. They sound great, but uh, they might smell like ear cheese, but... I'll tell you what, they've been okay. with me through some Call of Duty day where I've made people want to end their life. <laughs> the thing is, so with those Astro 50s I have, those were good. I used those so much that I wore those out. That's it. The badge went last last war. So I actually ended up getting a new version of the Astro 50s. The but all mine, is, all mine are corded. I have oh, nothing what? wireless besides my oh, free yeah. ones. But I don't. I really even use them. I just use the 40s. Yeah, no, the newer Astro 50 versions, the ones that are all black and everything with the tar base. I spent, when I got them, I thought they were going to be nice and everything, they were like, they felt good, maybe just some more bass. I spent hours and hours, and I could not get any bass. Any, any yeah, well, that's how I feel with these. Here. That's how I feel with these. Like, I can get some bass, but I cannot get no rumble. Yeah, I switch through music. Like, right now, uh, like, I can start changing games. my bass. I can hear more. As I'm clicking right now, I can hear more bass. But I don't have yeah. a rumble, though. Ain't like my car, you know, I turn my 15 on in my trunk. You know, I can run my damn car. I feel that shit, you know, yeah. in my damn sack, you know. I don't feel nothing here. I ain't feel it in my head. Sorry, the guys. Thing is too, Sack, I mean the potatoes. Second is, Sack of potatoes. <laughs> the second thing is, so too, with those versions of Astros, you can only customize them through your computer. The nice thing is with these, t like, for beaches, I if I'm having a little clean, you have something in this thing, turn up, connect the Bluetooth to my phone or my iPad, and I can go into the app and just quickly just them fly without having to... I feel, like, I feel like we are in the point <laughs> of technology where any headphones you buy should have the enough built-in technology where you can change them on the fly through an app or anything to change the drivers. Yeah. Where they can wirelessly because download the drivers through the headset itself. It's not some crazy technology to do. It's very simple to do where you can adjust them. But I feel like when it comes to Xbox, it's not because of the, of the actual headphones. It's because Microsoft has so many parameters on what is allowed. So I feel like what I have now, these A4, I think these are the best corded headphones you can buy on the market. I think. I could be wrong, but I think these are the best ones you can buy on the market that are corded for the console. If you want anything yeah. better, you have to go wireless. Yeah, the thing oh, is, there the was. Cords, I gave me so many cords and sockets in my controller, and I, I got so pissed, that's why I had to go wireless. But yeah, I just like the, the ability to fly, just the components of a fly of your plane, 
No, I thought I plugged the whole base and everything, plug it into your computer and set it up there, then plug it back in and set it all back up. Then you want to test it out if it sounds good. It's nice to do it on the fly quickly. What were you about to say, Kid Fox? Well, there was one time I had gone to Best Buy uh, to look for, uh, I think it was the expansion card at the time. Uh, the, uh, Bang and Olaf the, the, inner, the inner one? For Xbox. Uh, $500. For what? A headset. For a headset. Bang and Olaf. I never bought that. Like, yeah. That's how yeah, they, they outrageous. They are the manufacturer spe uh, speaker manufacturers for Mercedes, as, as stated on the box. So yeah, I'm exactly. Like, if I ever spent $500 on headphones, I might as well make you know, plans. They, they, they better vibrate the because there's PC headphones for 100 bucks that have vibration in them and shit. Yeah. Well, that's how much the actual thing is going to cost, like, almost 500 Yeah. The thing is, you can go on Amazon and spend $100 and get one that actually have vibrating effects in them, where they actually vibrate on yeah. your head. $500? You want to make that? I doubt it's that much better. You better there, there better be some tubes in my in my headphones. I better be able to see the light, the bulbs glowing. And that's how much those... those I better I, I see like, sound for $500. And the, <laughs> yeah, and the thing is, though, too, it depends on where you're at, but that's how much those new Turkish pros work. I better be able to hear you shut your plane door from the next airport away. <laughs> Actually, those ones, you could hear actual sound like people talking. Those, those well, yeah, I mean, I mean, that's why I was of the Astros, because, like, Halo, San Andreas, Call of Duty, you know, I, I could hear footsteps behind me, I, you know, so I always said with the Astros. Especially with the, with the amp, you could really set it up. You could do the supernatural hearing. You could really hear anything coming up on you. I could hear someone in the next room. Yeah, that was my issue with the Turtle Beaches, the Stealth 700, the super hear superhuman hearing. You turn it on, and for some reason it sounded like it was being filtered through a tin can. Yeah, so it, it's really high treble is what it is. It's just high treble. Yeah. That's all it is. Yeah. It's not, it's not no effect. They're like, oh, it's some master effect. No. You literally just go to some settings, turn up the treble really high, and there you go. You have the same exact effect. Uh, TP, yeah. I would do that, but I'm always on YouTube and streaming. I have to have, like, I have to isolate my sound. Yeah, the thing is, too, I don't use that thing, because I know people use, probably use that for more, like, Call of Duty games. I don't need that super gear, and I just, like, I can have a nice, good, spoggy sound. Okay, TJ, I, I am going to look for some new headphones sometime soon, for maybe, like, a Christmas gift to myself. I need something. I just wish I could find a good pair of wireless headphones that where I could stream with. It's like, you can't stream with game chat with a pair of wireless headphones on Xbox. No matter what you do, it's just Xbox does not allow it. They they, they ban the conversation. You have to be wired. And then you have to take that audio through an HDMI, run it to your laptop, separate the audio, run it back, monitor the audio, then take the audio all from your mic. So all this audio that y'all hear right now is all from one thing, my microphone. It ain't from the actual Elgato, it's from this, this microphone right here. It's all being monitored. The thing that you hear is from my monitoring system. Because if I don't monitor it, you cannot hear anybody in this chat. You cannot even hear me in this chat. Unless I was in the Xbox game chat, you can hear me. But in a Discord chat through Xbox, you cannot hear me. You guys didn't know that? A little fact for y'all. Oh, I knew that. Live chat <laughs> on Xbox through Discord. It's not does not come through live stream, not even your own voice. I knew that because I me and you spent like yep. hours and hours testing yep. it. <laughs> By the way, guys, we are on the final leg. This is the final leg till we get to Sierra Bravo Kilo Oscar. Uh, I see Ninja yeah. out here. I'm not sorry, Easy. He's been really quiet. I think he's got a five team burrito, probably a burrito. I think he's got an air fryer on auto and he didn't. I've been really uh, craving breakfast food this week, so when I go work, so Monday, guys, in my grocery shopping day, I always go grocery shopping on Monday. I'm gonna buy me some sausage, some eggs, some cheese, some hash browns. Nice. So I'll probably, probably live for like four or five days. I've been really craving some freaking breakfast food. I, 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 don't, I don't know if anybody here has Wolf House where you live. Wolf House is bad for your health, like Taco Bell. It'll tear up your gut, but I'll tell you what, ain't it like Waffle House? Like WWE House, you mean? Yes, sir. <laughs> awful Waffle. There's, there's there's, just nothing like Awful Waffle at 3 o'clock in the morning. Now, back in my drunken days, you'd be drunk as hell. Go to go to a Waffle House, it, it make you just right. Go there, get you some greasy food. You come out being a new man. You're like, damn, I'm ready to go again. Yeah, 
there. Did anybody here get the uh, the uh, photogrammetry at all? Yeah. Uh, photogrammetry. No. Yeah, photo I saw, like I said, I, I, I know TJ, uh, I'm sorry, I know uh, Kifox, that's not you, with us in the chat, or I told you where uh, the developer had actually shared some photos of all that he did and like the cities and stuff. It was, it was actually pretty neat. I've not actually touched it. I I want to get it. I, I know some people say there's a lot of the sharper images, but I'm like, but I, but as far as the world goes, how sharp is it? Is it just like here and there? Like, do I have to be in these cities all the time just to see it? Like, is it worth it? If I'm like never, like if you do a lot of Australia cities, big cities. Okay, well, if I'm never there, why does it matter? I feel like, I, I don't know, I feel like, I feel like with the sim, if you're going to buy something, it should affect the whole world, not just one little area of these bird packs. If they, if they have the biggest garbage by South Oak Company, you know, I understand developers starting off new, but like you're making bird packs, and you're intentionally, you can make a whole pack that covers the whole world, but you're making a pack, oh, this is uh, East USA. Okay, you can keep it, I don't want it. Yeah. And then that light packs. packs that came out, that light hit, packs they, they for a city. Able... Pensacola. Oh, like, okay, right. Pensacola is small as hell compared to the size of a normal city. What do I want a light pack for Pensacola? I have yeah, it. Little... But, it's like, but it's like, what was it worth? Five bucks? Okay, you have like a thousand of those on the sim? You got $10,000 yeah. in light packs in your damn simulator? I do yeah, not think your sim is going to run correctly with all those light packs. All those light pads? No, I think your sim would be dying. <laughs> so, but like you said, the, that one ammo pack that came out, that put the ammo spots all over your sim. Those are that's that's a nice that's a nice. Psycho add -on. tank, and, my friend. That's how I know you've been in a waffle only. house because <laughs> of what you just said. That's how I know you've been in a waffle house. I always say, if you're a waffle house cook, it's not out front at two o'clock in the morning smoking a cigarette. Your food's gonna be trash. <laughs> You show up, he, he puts out a cigarette, he walks in. He, the, the way he doesn't even take your he takes your He's like, what you want? He just throws it on there, no gloves on. He'll grab some raw chicken, and then he'll put the lettuce on your burger. <laughs> That's how our Waffle House is. It's, it's exactly how you describe yeah. it. Yeah. He'll literally throw some raw chicken on the grill, and then he'll put some lettuce and tomato and onion on your burger. <laughs> it's like, That's how you know. That's how you know it's real. Look, he knows. He knows. Guys, if any of y'all guys ever come to me in Pensacola, if any of you guys are ever in town, just let me know. We'll come hang out. I'll take you to Waffle House. I'll buy you a Waffle House ribeye. No matter what temp you get it at, it's always going to be well done because it's like a quarter inch thick. After two minutes, it's well done no matter what you do to it. They'll pull that joker out like it's the best thing. They'll throw it on that girl. They'll slap it down. They really grab it and slap it. You can literally hear like... <laughs> Man. They put so much freaking liquid margin on that thing. Uh, oh, there goes my rear. Psycho tank, yeah. So we have a lot of bars out here as well on the beach. Psycho tank, and that's, you're exactly correct. You, every place will be dead, but you can go to Waffle House two or three in the morning in the summertime. That place will be slam packed. People on a two or three hour wait. People in there just drunk out their mind. People in there. I've been to Waffle Houses where the cooks were drunks, and they literally have a bottle of liquor behind the counter. And if you were close with them, they would pour you a shot. But times are changing, guys. So if you want that experience, you better go now. Because I'll tell you right now, a year or two, you won't see that no more. Everything's changing so fast. You have engine trou troubles there, easy? Gabe, no. you take care of no, little buddy. We appreciate you always showing up. You're such a good supporter of the channel. We love I you, my man. I, I'll tell I you what, we got something special for you in store coming soon. I pushed my engine a little too hard for this whole flight, so <laughs> they, started to, they started to sputter. Oh, I had to, did you have to repair it? I can't. I had to be on the ground, so I had to turn off the... the Psycho, uh, you are absolutely correct. Man, he knows Waffle House. Psycho, what, Psycho where, where do you live at? You gotta be in the, lives, I, I he's got to be in the South. 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 He's gotta be in the south. Because Waffle House, Waffle House is it's not up north and it's not in the west. They're trying to get out west, but they're not in the west. Uh, Kivox, do you have Waffle House out there in Colorado? Unfortunately. You do? Okay. I guess yeah. it made out that way. 
I'm, I'm, one I'm one innings. Out. You got a one innings? Okay, yeah, we, we got one innings here, and we got two IHOP. I feel like IHOP is making a comeback. Okay, here, H test. Who here rem remembers Shoney's? Shoney's. Not Shoney's. Up there is easy. He, easy woke up when you said that. Easy woke up. Shoney's was a <laughs> breakfast buffet for a very long time. There's like, there's still like maybe five left in the world. But they used to be like huge. They used to be like Golden Corral. Who, who remembers Quincy's? It was like Barnhill's back in the day. Well, so up there, what do you got? You got Barn Hills? Well, you used to? Did y'all have a Piccadilly from uh, Morrison's? No. No? Uh, I'm either California or Colorado. Okay. Well, y'all have Del Taco in 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 and Alberta. We don't have that here. Yeah. Out TP, Taco. yeah, I know y'all do not have Wolf House in Canada. I'm going to take a guess. I'm going to say that Psycho Tank. I'm going to say that you live in Texas. Texas or Arkansas. I'm going to say Texas. Maybe Louisiana. I'm going to say Texas. Yeah, definitely. No, we don't have a wall for us up here. How about a huddle? We have, we have IHOP out here. We have two. I was just saying that they're making a comeback. IHOP is good. I don't care what anyone no, says. I, no, IHOP is good. I agree. IHOP is off the chain. IHOP is good. You get those freaking, uh, what are they called? The little thin pancakes? Um, grapes? Grapes? Is what they're called? <laughs> grapes? Yeah, crepes. Crepes. Yeah, crepes. And, 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 and Denny's is like a blur somewhere in between. Yes. House Denny's country IHOP. fried steak, though. <laughs> Denny's country fried steak. Somewhere though. between those two. Get Denny's Austin country fried steak where they put that powder. Do you like waffles? They get the powder gravy. They like put some water in it. <laughs> oh, it's so bad for you, but it's so good. And then the freaking cheap ass biscuits and the freaking MRE sausage is like it's like ramen sausage. It's like dried up. It's like flakes, oh, yeah. it's like Captain Crunch. If they throw a little water on it, a little margin, all of a sudden it gets puffy. <laughs> They're like, it's so butter. good. Oh, who, who here knows uh, Texas Roadhouse? Yeah, oh, yeah, we got one here in Pensacola. I love Yeah. Dude. Oh, yeah. They're amazing. Great steaks, great what prices. The peanuts, the rolls. It's all about the damn rolls. Mm -hmm. rolls. <laughs> yeah. yeah. On Wednesdays, they yeah. got the uh, the special every Wednesday. The uh, What's it called? The Cowboy, Cowboy Special? What's it called? It's like a $12 eight-ounce sirloin, two sides, and a drink. For, it's, oh, like yeah. it's like 13 bucks. Damn good. Yeah. yeah, and then you've got uh, Golden Corral, which is the, the Waffle House of uh, all you can eat buffets. Yep, so <laughs> yeah. we, we have one here too. Golden, Golden Corral. Uh, but here's the thing the though meme, they uh, used to be good uh, years ago. Go back 20 yeah. years ago. They used to, 30 years ago, they were like Ryan. <laughs> they were off the chain. But when food prices went up, they couldn't, keep, they couldn't compete. Like Piccadilly's, Quincy's, Morrison's. Ryan's, they went on a business. They just could not compete. You could not get quality. I, I, I still love the meme of, like, during COVID, somebody made a meme of Waffle House. Like, you think COVID's bad? Come, we won't close during COVID because our no, food Waffle House did is not. Crappy. It'll make you sick anyway. <laughs> Waffle House was the only thing open. Waffle House and Taco Bell. Oh, yeah. How about Perkins or Ponderosa? Do you guys ever have those? No, I never yeah, had those. No. Yeah. I just thinking, like you said, you're talking about breakfast. Right? You're just making this. this like, we do have sausage biscuits, biscuits everywhere. Like oh, and, we do have that everywhere. Oh, and, when I was younger, they biscuits used to and gravy. Place I would go for breakfast, and they would make pizza-sized pancakes. I mean, and you get sweet like, tea. Uh, this pants where it's so. Well, big. I'm drinking right here. I got a whole <laughs> cup full of sweet tea. There's like two cups of sugar in this one cup. Y'all ever seen Men in Black? Y'all remember the cockroach? He's drinking the straight sugar water. He's like, need yeah. sugar. <laughs> Nay, sugar. <laughs> That's us in the south. Oh, it is sweet tea. <laughs> so, so up north, obviously, there's not sweet tea. And then when I was in uh, Europe a month, last month, there was no sweet tea there either. I uh, kept drinking peach tea Snapple, which is one of my favorite teas anyway. It was the same thing. You know, everywhere I went, I was like, you got sweet tea? They're like, sweet tea? What's sweet tea? And everybody kind of looks at you funny like, what? Sweet tea? <laughs> and I'm like, I'm sweet with it. What's up? What's up going on Liberty Flight, buddy? What's up, my man? Liberty Flight just stopped by in the channel. Yo, what's Ninja up, Liberty? Fox. Guys, Liberty Flight is another YouTuber, much bigger than me, much better. I'm like the Wish.com of him. He's like the freaking Tarjay <laughs> of YouTube compared to me. 
But uh, great guy, great guy, great YouTuber. Uh, show that guy some love. He's much bigger than me, much better hey, than me. Come, come to chat with us. He, he, he's a family man, and I'm all about family. He, oh, he, has, yeah, he has a wife, he has kids, and anybody that takes care of their kids and their wife, that to me, it, to me, speaks volumes. So a little fact about me, if you have a kid and you're not part of that kid's life, I will not be friends with you. Because to me, that just shows to me, if you cannot be true to your kid, be there for them, how could you be there for me through my struggles in my life? You will turn your back on me in a heartbeat. You cannot be there for your own blood? Come on. You can't be in my life. Come on. And, and keep in mind, when I had my daughter, guys, I don't know if I ever told you all this. I did not want kids. I was scared. I did not want kids at all. But the moment I found out I was having a daughter, I remember I cried. And the moment she was born, I about passed out because I was so overwhelmed with, like, regret of those thoughts. It was so bad. And it's hard to explain until you actually experience it. You don't know, man. You're you're scared because you care. Yeah. And then the moment I saw her face, I knew for that moment that I was a retarded person who ever had those beliefs. And my daughter sees the more person in my world. She makes my day. How old is she? She's seven. You're welcome, Liberty. She, she is my Good life. Daughter. She's my world. The way that she loves what I do, the way that she hugs me, calls me daddy. Yeah. Just, just, just how much she wants to be like me. I mean, I'm like, man, I'm like, why am I such a mess up in life? Like, why can't I have been that better dad? You know? People like, are always like, you're such a great dad. Like, you're like the best dad. I'm like, I don't feel like I'm doing good enough. I'm like, I'm like, my daughter deserves the world. I don't know. It's just like, it's like I would, in a heartbeat, I was slave. I don't know if you've ever seen Man on Fire. I think it's the movie where Denzel Washington, like, pulls up the hospital to give his heart transplant to his son because they don't want to give a heart transplant. His son's going to die. He's like, oh, well, I'll kill myself. Yeah. Is it, was it was it the movie? Was it Man on Fire? Or was it another movie? John Q so, was that one. John Q. One John Q. Of. John Q. Uh, the other one was Man on Fire was with Dakota Fan. It was kind of the same premise. Uh, he was. It's like a true a story though. Got to know. It's a true story though. Yeah. Uh, Liberty Flight. We will join you this week, my man. I'm sorry, it's been really busy with work and stuff, but uh, we will be back with you this week. We'll do a, we'll do a flight with you, my man. Do you uh, let her know the flight simulator? Yes. Yeah, yeah. 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 Absolutely. She's been on a couple live streams. And flown the yeah. planes. She, she wants I to be a pilot. Yeah. I have a cousin that's six, or two, two boys that are six cousins, or uh, nephews, and then uh, my goddaughter is six also. I let, I let them all fly my drone, uh, PGI Phantom. Okay, okay. Yeah, I fly oh, drones too, so does Ninja. Ninja okay. actually got the same drone I got. Did he too? Yeah, they got it right away, knowing how to use tablets and stuff. Yeah. It's wow. amazing how smart kids are these days with yeah. tablets and stuff. I'm like, when I, I was like 15 playing with GI Joes. I'm not going to lie, guys. <laughs> That's funny. But uh, I left you know, one of the nephews who's the flight simulator. He remembered what all the buttons did and what, you know, and picked it up really quick. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, the one that probably told me about because I was looking for a new drone. Yeah, it's fun to use. R- it, Ruko guys. drone. What did you get? We, we we both got the Ruko, oh, Ruko. the uh, oh. the gimbal XS2. Uh, it's what's yeah. it called? The uh, I forget the actual name. Uh, they actually sent me three. Yeah. They, they actually sent me one to review. I just never did it. A funny story they a while actually, back. They but 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 it's an amazing. It's, it's just as good as the DJI. It's an amazing drone. Yeah. yeah. Mini two and then a Phantom. It's like three hundred bucks. It is amazing. I got mine for like one seventy five. It has. The GPS, it has the come back home, auto landing, it has the follow mode, oh, me. it has and the, it has uh, the, uh, tracks from yeah. movie when you record. Yeah, move, movement yeah. effects, uh, drone mode, uh, yeah, no. uh, music when you make, when you do recordings, you can actually put music the, in there, so, uh, VR mode, yeah, it doesn't have a, doesn't have a mic. If, it, and the thing is, here's the thing, it doesn't have a limiter, you can fly above 3,000 feet. But I, I have my, you know, I don't know if I'm you, I can show you. I have all my lights for my drone. So all the stuff you got to have, what's it called? Uh, blah, blah, six, is it six, six one? The uh, drone, drone lights, and I have both of those. There's two of them. I, I, actually, ha- I have both of them. I actually noticed on Amazon now they got the same drone, but a little updated version because now instead of connecting your phone to the controller, they actually have the whole screen built into the yep. unit. So nice. I have that. Uh, it's called like the part, uh, it's a part. Part 61, whatever it is, I got that. Uh, I took it part, here. Part 10 something. Something like that. But I got that. So I could do commercial stuff with it because I'm like, here, out here, there's so many police officers because people are always trying to drone like the beaches and stuff. They'll come after you yeah. if you're trying to record anything because you, know, you can't make any money. If you, if you guys do not know, if you have a drone and you get paid on YouTube, 
for any footage to be monetized Ready. is against yeah. the law. You have to have the license. It is against the law. You cannot fly a drone and make money off anything that you do without that license. You can yeah. be sued, and the FAA, they will come after you. Part 107. Part 107. So, like, where I live, so, like, if I put if I put up a drone video right now on my YouTube channel, even though I'm not a drone YouTuber, if I put up a video right now, the FAA will, without a doubt, come after me in a heartbeat, and they yeah. they, they, they will sue you and fine you. Did, did you see the, it's insane. the, the, the Bengals uh, playoff game last year? Somebody flew a drone into the stadium. No, like I didn't see that. 50 feet over people's heads. I can't believe the guy didn't lose reception because he's behind me. On the concrete walls. I don't. I don't know. I tell you this: my Ruko drone itself that I have, I have flown it 5,700 feet. I got videos of it. Oh, I believe that. With, yeah. with, without loss, which is which is which it is against the law. You cannot go. What is it like 1,300 feet? Or line, line of, of sight. sight. Line of yeah. sight. I have been way above line of sight. I've been three miles out with my drone. It goes. It says I, it goes one and a half miles out, but it will yeah. go three. It will go three yeah. miles out yeah. before it loses connection. Height, height wise, you're not supposed to go over. Three. Or yeah, and I, and I have all the apps yeah. and stuff where like you oh, go yeah. on there and you say, "Hey, I'm flying my drone in this airspace," and let you know like, "Hey, yeah. is it okay?" And you announce it. I got the, I got the app. I do all that. But I haven't yeah. flown in so a the, while. The DJI yeah. stuff is all geo. We're 45 nautical miles up from the airport. Yeah, that's how Ruko is. It's, it's geo map. Yeah, Liberty Flight. Oh, no. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, geo, yeah. Geo lock. Geo lock. Oh, hey. oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. My, we don't have geo lock. Correct. Yeah. So, our, so yeah. the Ruko does not have geo-lock. Not yet, at least. Yeah. I'm sure it's coming in an amount of time. But right now, there's, not a, there's not a geo-lock. So, yeah. yeah they, so, you're talking about it says restricted airspace. You can't fly it. It, it. it won't let you physically fly it. Yeah, ours don't have that. It'll, it'll literally just stop. Yeah. But the new controller unit might have it. Because if you go look, they have a new controller unit. I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure it probably it. does. Because all drones are going yeah, that way. Because they're getting so strict. Because you got idiots. Like, you can go on YouTube. And there's people flying drones chasing airliners and landing. I'm like, that is a huge... That's like 25 years in prison if you get caught doing that. It is, it is an endangerment of life if you get caught doing that. It's a huge, huge no-no. Because you go on YouTube, there's people that got videos doing that shit. I'm like, what the hell is this craziness? You could literally kill 100 people on a plane trying to get... These people are within like 30 feet of, it, of like an A320. Have you seen how big the DJI Latrice Argo is? I've not seen that. I I want to get the yeah. one that has the new camera on it. It's got, it's got the one the one hand joystick, the thumb on it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to get that. I want to get that. I see those, but they're just like, so expensive. They I, are. Like, but I tell you what, get... though, they you see the footage that they record. Go on YouTube, look at the footage. It's insane what people have done with those freaking things. I know. I still want to get a drone just for fun. Like I said, I got the drone. I like to fly around just for fun and stuff. To see, but I don't want it to go bank. So if you guys all know, you I have wanted to do a drone yeah. second channel for a long time. Like I have, I have a couple of drones. I have a, I have some amazing footage of my area, but I've just not done it because the FAA they will come after you. It's just a, is a huge no no. You cannot, you cannot upload drone footage. And even if you're not getting paid, the moment that you do get paid, they will come after you. Yeah, they'll break down your door. No matter if it's the past or not. If, if even if you were saying okay, like hey, like you're my buddy, like let me go over your land and uh, check some stuff out for you, you can get in trouble for that. It's just like it's just like going going with your friend in a plane and giving them money for fuel. It's against the law. You cannot pay. You cannot you cannot be in a PPL and be paid. And someone, someone cannot buy the fuel for your plane. It, it's insane. Now, someone can just give you the money. You can do it yourself, but if they physically do it, it's against the law. It's, it's insane, all the rules. You went to 22,000 feet. That's insane. I saw a video of this guy that took his drone to like 45,000 feet. It was like one of those custom homemade drones. And then uh, something happened. Oh, yeah. We lost connection, the battery, or something happened, and he crashed it. And he had a GoPro on it, and it took him like a week to track it down with the GoPro, and he finally found it. And it was in Hawaii. No, no, he was in some city, big city, oh, okay. but he was way up. I mean, he was almost, he was like a, he was like close to the edge of space. He was way up there. I mean, he, I mean, forty five thousand feet at the edge of space, but he was way up there though. I mean, he oh, was I way above about, the clouds, way above where a drone should be. Holy crap! I thought you were talking distance. 
No, no, I'm talking about straight up in the air, 45,000 feet. It was a six-blade drone, one of those home-built custom ones. He's just way up there, just way up there, recording. Damn. You can see, you can see like the Earth curvature and everything, and then uh, wow, something happened. I forgot exactly what happened, but uh, and all of a sudden you just because see it star. start. The dark star of drones. Yeah, you start to see it start plunging, and it's like a, it's like a five-minute drop before it hits the ground. And he, he posted on YouTube. He posted on YouTube, yeah. Like the accident. Well, here's the thing: like they don't. I mean, I mean, these days they can't find out who you are. Dude, my DJI, they, well, I had the, the, I crashed it, and I had a refresh where they give you a new one, but they wanted me to send them the, the flight. They do. Oh yeah. My, Ruko did the thumbs, same thing to me. What my thumbs were doing, what percentage I was telling it to turn, what everything. Same thing with everything. me. Yeah, Same thing with me. So I, my my first Ruko drone, not the one I have now. Like I said, I got the gimbal one now. I had the one that had like the fixed camera that goes up and down. I was That's flying bad. like over the swamp area, over the water, and for some reason, all of a sudden the drone GPS malfunctioned and like yeah. the drone completely went away, went away from the controller, took his own control, like shot up in the air and then it shot down. And they yeah. told me to replace it that I would, I would have to send them the file of my flight. So you yep. go on the app, and I sent it to them, and then after like a week of back and forth, they said, okay, we see, we see the numbers, we see the coding, there was a GPS malfunction, we're going to replace your drone. But I'm like, I didn't know that, I didn't know that they track everything they do, like your thumb movements, the altitude, the yeah. speed, how far, everything is all tracked yeah, that you me, do. I hit, I hit return home, and the engines just completely shut off. Yeah. Straight. So I tell people, I'm like, when you're flying across the airport, believe me, they're they, they, they can get that information from your drone because it's being transmitted and they can find out exactly whose phone is going to, who is registered, who, who it is registered to and everything. So like me, I have all my drones registered. Here, I'll show y'all. Give me a Google map overlay. So, so the, the U.S. military has that too where it can. So we have something on our base as well. It's right something back. that we I'm have. Sorry. Uh, you can, you can, so we have a thing, so we can send people's drones back to their base, or back to their home person, or we can drop them out of the sky. Um, it's not authorized yeah. yet, but there is such capabilities. Now, if you don't have it registered, it's not going to pop up. So if you don't have it registered, or if it doesn't have the, like, camera that's, you know, usually being registered with and stuff like that, then we can't see it. So as long as it's not registered and nobody can see it, you can't you can't track it. But it, but so it has it to be has under a certain weight, correct? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. So, so I'm not going to show y'all my actual number, but y'all can see my name. So this is my FAA registration for my drone license right here in front of me. And then right here, this is my these are my uh, the trust certificate. This has all my uh, other stuff on it as well. You got to have both these in Florida to fly a drone if it's over a certain weight. So every drone I have will be under this number. I'm not gonna show it to y'all, but it will be under this number that I'm covering up. Every drone I have has to have this number on it, or you can be arrested. But yeah, because like you're saying, Pat, how your drones not be. Well, that's how Pilot got me the told me about the Rico drone because the last Holy Stone drone I had was the same thing. It had a vehicle camera. I first took it up, I calibrated everything, hit fly, and the thing was going. Mental. It was flying all by itself doing laughs. Like it was like I was in, in the house. I wasn't even touching the car. And I think it was flying. Like it was that going at full. Like it was at full throttle. Like I was pushing inputs, and it was just la looping and looping. When I tried to get control, like to give it input, it was fine. When I hit home, the thing started going faster and faster. Home button. It was it was fully out of control. Like something was wrong with the computer uh. in it. Uh, Psycho Tank, and, yes, I, I am eventually going to do a, a drone channel because, like I said, I do have these. I can do it now legally and make money off of it. I mean, but I want to do, like, commercial stuff. Like I said, I have the, my FAA card here and stuff, and it has, like, all the rules on the back of it. It's got, like, your license number and everything, the expiration date and all that. And then, like, so you got to have this little trust thing. I think it's stupid, but it's called the Recreational U.S. Safety Trust Test. you got to have this as well. But this here's the big one. you got to have this on you right here. And then, and this is basically like getting your PPL. All the book work is pretty much the exact same as far as book work goes for the Part 107 for it to fly a drone. Even though you'll never use most of that stuff, you have to know that information to get this license. So I keep all these on me in my drone case. I keep in these little sleeves right here. 
But uh, I, if you like drones, get it. It's like 225 bucks. They do it like once a week somewhere in your town. Uh, totally worth it though. You meet a lot of cool people. You, there's a lot of cool connections. But uh, yeah, these these two cards right here, very very important. The FAA is like the IRS. Don't get them on your bad side. They're not. They're no joke. No. I actually fired this time I was flying. I dropped my very good drone. I heard almost slammed into it. Yeah. Well, I bet I bet eagles yeah. come after mine before. Yeah. We don't oh, have any eagles didn't, here. Didn't, I wish we they did. Hit it. They got really, really close to it. I've had some so, dumb birds that come after me though. And I went, I went yeah. home right away with it. And the like, eagle was stalking the bumpy through the circles of my home. I I do have some really no, like good more than, footage. More than one time, man. Yeah. It was it was like a blue guy that almost flew with mine. Oh really? Yeah. The time that it got really close to it, I didn't have an SD card in there, but it saved it to my phone anyway. So I had like yeah. a, a 720 video, it wasn't super high up, but yeah. If it did take it out, it would have been a good video. Yeah, you don't want to record yeah. anything with an eagle and with the drone because oh, yeah. because they'll say I mean, that you are endangering an eagle. Did y'all know that, that if you hurt an eagle, it could be a life sentence in prison? I don't know if y'all know that. Yeah, that's crazy. It's yeah, insane. This thing came, I was not harassing it. This thing came out of nowhere. Yep. Yeah, it just seemed like the Blue Jay. I was flying around, and it just shot out from behind me. Like, it, and they just got flying. Yeah. I spotted 29 an eagle. I was back from the airport. I was flying down the river, and there was two eagles standing on top of telephone poles. And it wasn't even a fully grown one. Like, I'd say it was... Maybe had like a five foot wingspan, five and a half. I could just tell that it wasn't quite in it, like a full grown adult yet. And on top of the telephone pole, it's talents with the width of the telephone pole. Yep. Uh, a psycho tank. Um, I did a lot of research on this, but uh, from from what I understand, if you post anything on YouTube with a drone and you get paid for it, you're considered a commercial drone pilot, and you have, you you have to have that license. Correct. And if anybody comes up to me and asks what I'm doing, I say I'm flying recreation because I don't make any. Money. Correct. But but if you're if you get paid by YouTube for drone footage at all, you are doing commercial business with your drone. Yeah. Yeah. No matter no matter no matter if it's recreation or not, if you get paid for it, even if it's your friend and you're saying, "Well, I'm gonna go fly over your house doing inspection," you have to have that license. It's crazy. I know it makes no sense, but that's the freaking rules of the freaking FAA. So that's why I got my part 107 myself. Like I said, this little cord right here, very important to have. And like I said, it's good to have because I tell you what, you learn that book work, you learn this, go fly a plane, get your PBL. Because soon you learn all this, getting that PBL is not hard whatsoever. You already learn all the book work. You all, all you gotta do now is just do the flights. Yeah, we, it, I don't think I've ever showed you all these. I've showed you all I had these cards, but uh, a little secret about my life there, but yeah. I am a commercial yeah, drone pilot, to... though I don't do it much. I wish yeah, I, I had more time. That's, that's where the airport is. Looks like well, that's where we're landing. But, uh, so I live next to a military base, and, and when I go to the app, I can actually see the, the actual airspace of the drone, uh, of the uh, airspace where you could be and where you cannot be. Do not cross that line. You cross that line. It's a huge no no. Hey. Bye-bye. Do not cross that line. Do not go above whatever the altitude it says it is. So, like, over out here, it's, uh, I think it's, like, I think it's, like, 1,500 feet. You have to be below. Do you go above that? Nope. No, no. Yeah, I'm aware Like, even on the beach out here, like, you can go, I'm like, the, uh, there is the, uh, the, rule is the park out here, feet. Johnson Beach, next to the military base. Yeah. I, I thought the, the... The standard rule is 400 feet, though, AGL. No, I know. But I'm just talking about, like, in general, like, any plane. Like oh. Anybody, okay. anybody that's not military without permission yeah. to enter that, that airspace. Oh, you're, oh, I thought you were saying you could fly your drone into the... No, 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 no. I'm talking about anybody. I'm sorry. Anybody. I'm sorry. No, no, my, no I, I use that app. It tells you... It, it just shows you, like, any anybody. Any, anybody in the plane. Yeah, all right. So I, I just go off of that. I'm like, yeah. a plane can't fly there. I definitely cannot fly my fucking drone there. I assure you. Yeah, I live next to a pretty small airport. It's not commercial or anything. And there's times when there's aircraft in the area, and my drone will not take off. 
I'll turn it on a couple times and just wait. It'll just say aircraft in the area. And yep. I don't hear anything. I don't hear any airplanes. We do have the, um, uh, what the heck, the reserves. There's a Blackhawk base there. And I don't know if like they can send off a signal or something or what, but I, I know drone time. I know drones can I be tracked on ATC yeah. if they try to. Yeah. I've seen some YouTube so, videos of it. They say that they do give out enough signal they can be spotted as unknown objects in the airspace. Yeah. Yeah. Now I don't know yeah. all the I'm sure they can. I don't know the show about it. I don't know any of that information. So I, I don't want to comment on that because I don't know, but I, but I have heard that they can. Even in a recreational, you know, drone from Walmart, for example, yeah. they've got these abilities to your phone. They they can track it. They can spot you, and they can see you. Yeah, we used to have a small, like a little small airport near us, but it got it, it closed down. So they're in the only near me is like it's like an. There's stories on like YouTube, like where like oh, people are like they were flying and stuff, and police knew the location because like somebody turned them in, like FAA or whatever, or like ATC or whoever, and a cop showed up where they were. Now yeah, I don't know if these are true stories, like this YouTube. If I lied on YouTube, I don't know, but I don't see it yeah. being impossible by any means. It's go, yeah. it, it is transmitting from here from A to B and back. And it's also your phone's using it's also using a GPS signal too, like from the transmitter. Cause it's also using GPS, so that's how it finds itself back to its home if it needs to lost signal. I mean, so, uh, so it's kind of like you know, flying a drone. You're not allowed to fly a drone at night. You know, as a whole another that's a whole another license. You have to have these lights, which I have those lights as well. I don't have I don't have the uh, certificate for it, but I, I do like flying at night. Yeah, those, those lights. You you gotta be able to see them from like three, three miles away. Yeah, three miles away, yep. I got one yeah. of those on mine that attached. So mine has lights on it, but I got one once you attach to the top. And it'll, it'll blind you. It's fucking bright. It lasts oh, about, it, but it only lasts about 30 it, minutes, that the actual light itself that I attached to it. But uh, you this still is have your to tip it. It's an attachment. That, it goes to any drone. Okay. It's an FAA drone approved. Basically, it's basically like a beacon light, a strobe light. Oh yeah, I'm like yeah. I'm sorry. It's good. I was thinking for that drone, drone meeting. But 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 have. even then, I mean, it, the, there's so much you got to do to fly at night. I'm like, I'm I'm Does not I'm not even qualified. There's so much Does you got to do. Just stick out there with like sticky tape. Yeah, Velcro. 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 I'll show you. Yeah, because from a plane, I'll show you. Pretty crazy. How I don't have my YouTube channel. We're very we're very close to the airport. We're 16 miles out. But yeah, because pilots actually. Sorry, but because you can get landing gear because our route is kind of low to the ground, so it can yeah. land. I've got some landing gear for mine too that just fold up and go into the, the carrying case, and I've also got a landing pad for it too because landing yeah. gear helps depending on what train you're on. Well, I have this right here. Yeah. Little okay, case right it. here. You'll see it on the screen. It's a little case, and it's got it's got like rules in it, walls, and then this right here. It's a little bitty thing it attaches Velcro. It's almost like it's vacuum sealed. Fill this button. And then it's got all these settings on it. Pretty crazy how Ukraine utilized little commercial or uh, you know recreational drones to drop their gates. But this is white, green, and red, and does like ten modes. But this one here, it says it's three it's miles nice. visible. You're kind of off the camera. Just don't blind yourself. Oh, you I was zoomed in. That's why. Oh. <laughs> I that can't see. Thing. Yeah, I was zoomed in on the YouTube channel. You got oh, all yeah. different I, lights right here. It's but it, it's, bli it's blinding. Though. It's blinding me looking at the damn thing. But uh, yeah, got a little duck curl on the back of it right here. And you ta so I got this. So I got this where it attaches to the top, and I got one attached to the bottom of it. In case I'm above anybody, it's because, like I said, I like to fly really high. <laughs> I I agree with fly too. I like to fly like drone very high too. It's fun, but because there's, there's so much to see in my area. There's so many lakes and stuff. They're like in the forest. There's some there's some little bit of parks out here that you cannot go to or get on. No nobody can go on them. Besides the trail, you can't get off the trail to actually go in the woods. Yeah, I like. Uh, yeah, I got a lot. Of Farmlands, trees, and woods, and stuff too, and you can really good places to see stuff. Just but, go uh, exploring with 
I got this. I think it's like 60 bucks on Amazon for this little thing right here. But uh, it's amazing. It's, it's, it's basically weightless. Like I said, but it only lasts about 30 minutes. So you want like one or two of these if you're trying to do a lot of flying because uh, it don't last that long. You know, and I, I got like eight batteries for my drone. So, so they last yeah, like oh, yeah. 25 yeah. minutes a piece. Yeah, I, I only got the two for now, but like I said, I'll definitely... Well, I told you, if you go on there and do a review, they'll send you a free one. Yeah, I know. I have it. I should do... I need to do that review. <laughs> yeah, I need to do that review. So I should keep forgetting to do the review. Uh, it's where I'll pull up, but... uh, Yeah, so, like, you know, I know there's some drones that have, like, night vision. Mine doesn't have it. I wish it did. Yeah. But uh, I still fly flying at night. Good. Like, I'll go down the beach where the condos, where everybody is. You can see, like, all the, like, like spring regulars, all the, the drunk tourists out there. Shoot the fireworks, I can retard it. I'll just go through there at night and I'll just zoom right off past them. Going, going like 30, 30 knots, 35 knots. Oh, yeah, because the thing does have three modes. You have, like, a camera mode. I keep it in sport like mode. mode. Yeah, sport mode. So, like I said, I want that one with the joystick, the Maverick, or the DJI with the one thumb joystick with the pullover VR. Now that there, that'd be a whole nother game. Cause you made that thing really yeah. flip upside down. These two, well, we have can't flip upside down. No, they can't. But you can get it close to it though. I mean, you can do it, but the GPS can take over. I got the DJI. I got the stick stuff for these two, so because those are like said, so I've been using that as well. I just slot my phone in and put it in VR, so I just sit there and start flying it. But don't trust me, fucking. I know it's a lot of lemons. I'm, I'm still seeing dots right now. I don't know how bright it was to y'all, but out here, it, it'll light up your whole entire house. It is bright. Yeah, that little bitty flash. I'm, it's like three it like, like watch bro. batteries in that thing. It blinded the camera. Yeah, it's freaking bright. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Don't blind yourself. Afraid of the land. You're not gonna be able to land now. <laughs> Airports to our right. <laughs> see, I see, I like the heavier drones. I don't like the. The minis. I like the heavier drones. Yeah, I, I want something with. I want something with power. Yeah. Oh, oh my god! But you also going the wrong way. Yeah, I said it's to the right. I'm seeing Sorry. Right now. Yeah, we're out here in the swamplands of the Amazon, guys. My bad. Don't listen to me. There's not. There's not many places <laughs> to land. But you, you yeah. know, like uh, you know, like I saw like they sell drones you can buy that like will literally track animals for, like hunting. They're like five thousand dollars. They're like they'll literally fly up and they can pinpoint animals like deer and stuff, and it will literally give you like the actual location to actual points, like lateral and uh, longitudinal. They have like heat cameras, night vision, thermal, yeah, crazy. The white, or probably like white vision. Yep, crazy. All right, turn it towards the air. You ever seen those people that fish with their drones? Yeah. They put the freaking fishing line down and they'll freaking pull a fish out. Here's the funny thing is, I didn't have a drone way back. You know those like, RC broke, broke into a boat? I actually did that with that, and I actually tapped a fishing line to that, and I drove it through the lake, and I got a fish to grab it <laughs> very slowly. Sorry, fucking. I didn't mean to jinx your uh, thing. Go back here. We're about to land. Yeah. So I actually had. I used to. I actually both to go fishing once. <laughs> it was funny. Yeah, but I seen the drones. Just they wait. I hover it over. Grab it. Oh, there's the airport right over there. Yep. I'm lined up for it. Coming in. <laughs> I was like killed into somebody's Oh, I'm so pissed. Yeah. Psycho, that's shoulder. a good distance, eight nine miles. My mine, mine, mine will do about maybe four. Yeah, it's good distance. Well, yeah, it's crazy distance, but I, I usually don't go. I usually don't go past two one direction because I don't want it to go too far out where I can get it, where I cannot get it to return home to lose the connection. I agree with you there because you don't want to go too far. And, and ours has a really good. It has like what? It's like a, it's like a 12 or 13 knot wind resistance, which is really good. Yeah, level six wind resistance. That's what it says. Yeah, it's good. Because basically, like, I know where I'm at on the beach. There's a lot of wind. I like to fly over the beach and stuff. We get real low. You want some good wind resistance because that wind will take your drone if it does not have it. Yeah, and like uh, I said, I got the landing gear. Like 
Oh, that Leninger is great. Yeah, Leninger is great. Like that, those are the best ten bucks ever spent. Yeah, you got with the heli. Light. You got with the heli pad. It's great. Yeah, I got I got a landing pad. I also got, but yeah, the Leninger are very light, so you don't have to put too much weight on it and bring your battery more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it, it's basically like a 3D printer model thing. I mean, if I yeah. 3D printer, I would print it myself, but uh, yeah, I love it. It works great. Yes. It keeps the dirt I off the engines. I agree with you. And grass, too. Dirt or grass. Yep. And it's, not, it's also good, too, because sometimes when you... I do have a land, land right on the pad, so I'm going to land maybe off to the side of it, so it's nice if it is. If I, I, I try to always it. manually land mine unless, unless it's about to die. Just because yeah, the GPS is good, but it's not exact. Unless it's about six feet wide, you're going to be a little bit off. Yeah, that, no, that's why I agree with you, too. I run a lot of men. Sometimes when the battery's got so low, it's done it, it's taken over all by itself and land itself. But that gear is actually helps. Which that is a good safety mode, like the, the low battery. But the thing is, if you're too far away from your home, like I've been so far out one time, I got scared to death. Like, shit, I'm too far away, too high. It's returning home with the battery's low. Is it going to make it? I'm out there running through a field, like, let me get under, I'm going to catch it, I'm going to catch it. <laughs> yeah. Luckily, I yeah, made it. I'm like, I'm not going to catch it. But, yeah, every time I had one really low battery where back, but it didn't land in time. This is a nice little landing right here. All right, let's do it. Let's butter it. I got back just in time. On my head here. Where'd you go? You're late. You killed his computer. Yeah. I'm sorry, but I didn't mean to. I'm just showing you my yeah. drone. I told you that thing's intense. That thing's no joke. Yeah, but you see that thing in the hard, dark. The hard drive is fried, though. <laughs> that, thing will, that thing will literally light up a neighborhood. It is that bright in the dark. It is so bright. It's like three watch batteries. It's insane how bright it is. All oh, those button cell batteries? Like all, yeah, all those little fine. bike batteries, you know, the little bike lights. I'm like, they ain't crap. Put this thing on your bike. You'll blind traffic. Yeah. They won't be blinding <laughs> you. You'll blind them. They'll be like, what the hell is that? UFO has become oh, one. Yeah. UFO. <laughs> yeah, I got a couple of bright light flashlights and everything that are so bright that they will blind people. I got one that we can cook something with. Mm. I just had a perfect landing. I didn't even try it. I just literally just kind of slid back a little bit and just touched it. They even make a noise. Well, I'm trying. Oh, you're still here? Easy, I thought you had left me. I was sad. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, he's, he's been he's been sleeping. We're we talking about drones. I'm talking about flying a drone no, to your house. Everything. Yeah, we're flying one and look around Easy's window. Just trying to figure out my computer what's going on. Why is it you're, you're no, oh, did you? Guys, it's just like you probably need like to do a full wipe, a full a full uh wipe. Take it to Full reinstall. I mean, that's what I'm doing Monday. It's not the community folder because everything in there is not running good. I haven't really downloaded. It's probably just old coding that's staggered yeah. within files, just like it is on my Xbox. Right. You know, my Xbox was running great to the moment I left the beta. As soon as I left the beta, I started having issues. You know, I overclocked my graphics card, but then I don't know if that's what's doing it or what, but it's been freezing a lot lately. It's, well, ever since the new update, everybody says it's freezing. Well, I don't know what it is, but I'm doing a full wipe come Monday. Mon Monday night to, through Monday afternoon, I'm just going to have it wipe in and just let it do its thing on its own. Dude, I don't touch it. file size that now, like 200? My, no, my mine's like 600. Oh my god! Yeah, I, have, I have, I have many so many. Add yeah, I have. Shit, I have so many add-ons. I have, I have like, I have like 350 add-ons. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Probably I more than that. I bought one plane. That's it. Oh <laughs> shoot! I have like, I think I got like 275 planes currently in my hangar. No way. <laughs> yeah. Same here. Yeah, that's just planes. So that's not on my other add-ons. Yeah, I got so many planes. Sometimes it'll take you like you're trying to find one plane. Uh, where is this plane? It'll take you like five or ten minutes just to find that one plane. And sometimes you go right past it, so then you have to keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. And then you just start over. Let me get a picture of everybody out here. Would everybody let them get a nice picture of everybody? But uh, yeah, my, my next road right. is going to be at DJI. Um, that's what my brother uses. I, was, I love DJI. They're just great. But, I've, uh, seen them, I've seen them. I've, I've, I've seen those cool drones. I would love to get one. Pricey. And I just like to get it scared this gonna happen. But this right here guys, yeah. get you get you one of these LEDs for your drone to fly at night. But be sure when you go on Amazon if there's, there's hundreds, be sure yours says it, it, it is FAA approved. <laughs> because sure because FAA if something ever has the FAA, believe me, they're gonna they're gonna check the dumbest things like that. Oh you flew over a house in the dark in the neighborhood. They think you know they're treating you like Trent Palmer. 
Yep. Good luck, IRS. I'll be on the bad side. Not worth it. I love drones. I wish I lived in more. I wish I lived in more, you know, beautiful area, like Montana, because like I like to move the footage, like or like what we're driving the beautiful stuff right out there in California. Hey, we should fly over where that guy uh, crashed his plane on purpose. Sky dived out. Sky dove out with the. Fire extinguisher and his no, 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 TJ, I'll say I have over 600. I'll say I have like 300 planes. What was that guy's name? Say it one more time. The guy that crashed his plane on purpose? Yeah, that YouTuber, the, Oli the Olympian yeah, swimmer. Over that area. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I forget his name. He's the one that's going to jail. Yeah. Oh, it's only like two years, though. Yeah, yeah, he was a, a Olympic snowboarder. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's right. Olympic snowboarder. Yeah. Crashed his plane, it hit the evidence. Took a helicopter out there to yep. pick it up. What? Name. I forget his name. Idiot. And then he he hurt people like Trent Palmer. People that are actually it, following the rules. Tre Trevor Jacob. Is that his name? Yeah, Trevor Jacob. That's it. Made made every pilot on YouTube look like an idiot. Yeah. It's yeah. Elliot. He but had I don't a, think he had a fire extinguisher duct taped to his leg. Yeah. He said they're like, oh no, what to do? What, what to do? Never show what was going on. Never showed his gauges. Never nothing. Just oh, yeah. What's happening? Like oh, a, I'm jumping up my plane. Oh my gosh. And no point did he try to. He did not navigate. He yeah. did not aviate. He did not communicate. The three rules of take, flying an emergency: aviate, navigate, communicate. Yeah. He did not he did one take of the time three. To, to use the selfie stick to get his face while the plane was going down, so he'd have a, a slick screenshot. On yeah. Instagram. And it has all these but GoPros all over his plane. And, and, and the bottom rule is, when, whenever you're in a situation, when you're flying, there's three things you always do. Aviate, fly the plane, navigate, where are you going, communicate, tell them what's going on. And no boy did anything. Oh, my plane's dying, I'm jumping out. What? I'm like, if you want to crash a plane, bro, you can give it to me, and I would go ahead and made you a video that looked like real deal of you jumping out yeah. the damn plane. Just gave me the damn plane. plane. It was like a 1940-something plane. Yeah, an old, old plane. Liberty yeah, Flight said it. He says, "Guy died with a fire suit." Just like, yeah, and, and, and that's all we saw. He probably had like a, probably had a flare gun on his other leg. We don't know. A flare gun, yeah. a Swiss Army knife, had an MRE attached to his chest. <laughs> yep. A had a Nokia. Yeah. Had a walkie-talkie. Dude, people that are you know aviators. That's a that's a smart you know intelligent group for yes. the most part. You know, like it's, it's, it's a not, huge respect. It's like lying to a bunch of doctors. Yeah. <laughs> Just disgusting, they, you know. They did pick this story apart, like, with his limits. And the fact that he even did it for views, like, you did all that. You paid more for that plane than you're going to get paid for views on that video. Yeah. So it's all right, so I'm going to park this plane so I can it's like, get I'll, this. If y'all guys want to know some, some math of, of YouTubers, so, so, let me put it this way. So I'm a YouTuber, as y'all know. Per million views, how much money do y'all think I get paid? Per one million views total on a good day, because it also goes off the watch time. But let's just maybe, say you watch maybe about three cents per video at a million, something like that. So, so let's just say that you watch the whole video. So let's just say on a really good situation at a one million views, how much money do you think I make before taxes? Let me let me check on my calculator. Here. A number. Give me a number. I'll tell you. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you exactly what, what my, the estimated amount that I get paid per per million per one million. Keep in mind that I've only made one point seven million views. Thirty thousand. Nope. Less. Per per one million views on a very good day, I make between three to five thousand dollars. Oh man. Since I've been using. Since I've been YouTube and for over two years now, I'm at 1.75 million views, so a little under two million. I have spent probably double that on add-ons, software, <laughs> peripherals, everything. So let's say he got three million views, four million views. Let's say he made twenty thousand dollars. He probably paid more than twenty thousand dollars for that plane. Yeah, and the helicopter retrieval. In the retrieval, and that's on a very, very good day. 
If I get a million views, I'm going to estimate I'm going to get around maybe $3,000. Keep in mind, I'm at 1.75, so that's like, this is $7,500 in two years of YouTubing at over 100,000 hours of time put in in videos. So people know like how little do you make? That's how little I make. Break that break that down per hour. That's like thirty cents an hour or less. <laughs> yeah, some people make more, and other people yeah get the shaft like you know. Psycho Tank, the amount of subs does not matter. What matters is the amount of views and the amount of view time. Subs mean nothing. It's all about the views. You can have a million subscribers, but, but if they do not watch your video, it means nothing. You can have 10 subscribers and get 10 million views, you will get paid. So put this way, the average plane review I do, I said, let's say I spent $20, I make around $2 on that video. On a good day, on a good week, maybe 5 Anybody that's telling you, YouTuber, that they're making all this money, they're lying to you. Unless you're getting millions of views per month, you're not making no money. Yeah, people, people sell up merch. And yeah, all it's all off. It's, it's just like bands. It's all off of merch. It's, it's off of merch, it's, Patreon, it's and sponsorships. Yeah, yep, yeah, it's not yeah. off of YouTube itself. I'm yeah. all I'm negative every single month. I've been negative for two years. If I break even, I feel very good. Because the amount of stuff I got to pay, like software, video editing, and everything, the amount of hours I put in, it's never worth it. So for him to crash that plane, for let's let's uh, say let's let's say he got five million views. Let's say on the let's let's say he got twenty five thousand dollars on a very good and that's before taxes. Keep in mind that taxes from the IRS, you're a commission. You're you're a commission person for YouTube. They're taking a thirty percent off the top of that. So keep that in mind. They take thirty percent. You get paid ten thousand dollars. They're taking three thousand dollars automatically away from you when you file your taxes. So you make twenty thousand dollars. They're taking away six. So let's say I made seven seven thousand five hundred dollars in the last two years. They're taking away twenty five hundred dollars of that money instantly off the top. Instantly off the top for taxes. How dumb can you be for you? All right, boys, it was fun. Thanks for uh, doing this, setting everything up, and letting me play along. I'll talk to you guys next week. All right, guys. I'll see you guys later. See you guys in my next video. Love you guys very much. You guys are all really awesome. I'm going to eat me some spaghetti I'm about to cook. And after that, I'll be back on in the uh, the live chat like this again. If you all want to join up with us and have some fun and hang out and chill, we'll probably be in the juice goose. Be juicing the goose. Maybe We'll, we'll probably go egg somebody's house in the juice goose. Easy, yeah. uh, easy. What's your address? <laughs> a little over egg pilot's house. Right? <laughs> it's an apartment. We'll put, uh, you gotta egg everybody's apartment. Love you, Liberty. Love you, TJ. Psycho Tank, Le TP. Yeah, Love all you guys. Everybody that's here in this chat. Love you, Liberty. Thank you, Logan. everybody, for stopping in and joining.